Hey guys, we are we are gonna play this game, The Secret Order New Horizons. It's a point and click. Uh, no, sorry, it's a hidden object game, and um, it's not on Steam. It's on Big Fish Games. Here's the Big Fish Games installer. Let's um, get started. Kiwi says hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kiwi. How's the volume, by the way, Kiwi? We're trying yet another setup. A really awkward one. A really awkward one. Yeah, I didn't think things through. <laughs> Let me just move my mouse over here. He says it's good. Yeah, and then remember when I was like, is that gonna work? And you're like, probably. <laughs> It'll probably work. This, this angle. So Secret Order is a series. There's at least six games in the series. Oh, Rahitsu. <laughs> Konnichiwa. To how do you say to and I think it's to Arigato gozaimasu. Why do people always insist on getting you something for Christmas after you told them they don't have? That is a very good question. I don't know the answer. It is not a problem that I have. Stephanie, can you <laughs> type in Stephanie? Sure. I don't have this problem of people insisting on getting me gifts. Nobody buys me gifts, man. I want gifts. Ichiban Kiwi. Nori. Maybe you're getting all of them. I don't know what Nori means. Nori you are Wakirimi Sen Demo Ichi Ichiban, number one. He's I think he's saying he's the number one on the cheering uh the Sweet. bits score, yeah. What does that second thing he said say? It's probably also Ichiban Nori. <laughs> I feel like you're cheating. No yeah, I am cheating. My best friend literally just told me she's going to get me a sixty dollar game. 
I'm confused as to why you're complaining, Kiwi. First world problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First bits. Is Nori bits? I'm not aware. I didn't know that. How would I know? <laughs> Aren't you like in super into Japanese Twitch culture? And... <laughs> Somebody like, wrote that they, I did a bestus. I did as, as bestus, bestus I, I could. could. Oh, that's <laughs> some sort of amazing pun, but I don't. Wait, is is did you also give bits then? Like, I'm not sure what you're referring to, Kegri. Oh, sorry, I don't have my Twitch dashboard up right now. I'm I'm watching this on uh, restream chat, but uh, I like that's that's how what I'm inferring from from that message. Kiwi, have you ever heard of the um, five love languages? I have not heard of the five love languages. Oh, Explain this, to me the five sure. love languages, Stephanie. It's um, something that was developed by a guy whose first name is Gary. I can't remember his last name right off the top of my head. He um, by the is way, a guys, counselor. Stephanie is a neuropsychologist. Just it's true, you know, I so am. that you have the um, context. No, I was gonna say, what's the name of the fallacy? Argument from authority. Oh, argument from authority. That, yeah. Like this is why you should right. believe what she's about to say right now. Exactly. So he has this theory that there are. Um, five main ways that human beings enjoy receiving um, and sending love to other people. And they are gifts, uh, words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, and acts of service. And most people give other people love the way that they like receiving love. So Kiwi, for example, your per best friend who wants to buy you a game or these other people who are giving you gifts, that one of their love languages may be gift giving. And so they may think um, like, this is a way to show you that I care about you. Um, Kiwi, your, one of your love languages may not be gifts. So you might just be like, uh, no, like spend the money on yourself. I want you to take care of yourself. Um, and you may have a different way that you want them to explain that or to show you that they care about you. You may want to just spend time with them or you may love giving them compliments or you may like doing things for them um, or physical touch, uh, things like that. So um, the idea behind the book is... Um, <laughs> different love language theory exactly um not romance languages love languages um and uh so the, the, the idea is that like some of the disagreements that people have um come down to a difference in love languages yeah sorry i didn't want to interrupt stephanie but the reason i quit the game was because i want to change um what i'm using to show the chat because i think I, tr I tried again, you know, I'm, I'm continuously trying different setups and I feel like the, the browser I'm using to show the chat is buggy. Like we, um, we lost, we, we, I had to scroll down a bit to see Kagero's new message there. So you claim you're not doing it just to confuse me every time I come over. Right. Ah. That is the claim. That's the claim. Okay. So not hopefully exactly with this it. browser, <laughs> we will be able to keep track of chat. Chapman, I think his name is. Gary Chapman. Isn't there an IRC loop in OBS? I... maybe? That's not what I'm using. <laughs> and that? it's what his key... IRC is internet relay chat. Mm. He's he's basically a way of setting up chat. Mm. So Kiwi likes giving her gifts, but I don't feel very comfortable with receiving very expensive gifts. I think you should let the gift giver decide what they feel comfortable um, giving, and just be super gracious and thrilled that they're your friend, and try to give to them in an extravagant way that's comfortable for you, and that might be you know, tons of compliments or being really excited to see them or doing something that you know that they'd love that doesn't cost any money. Um, and just feel fine with the fact that what they want to do is is get you something expensive and just be like, that's amazing. All right, so let's get started with the game here. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to talk weird psychology fringe theories all day. Seems like a lot's going on already, like...
Wait, there's text there. I'm sorry, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm like your nephew from the future. I'll explain later. You've got to help me restrain this tug. Fantastic. Would you like to play the tutorial? Absolutely not. <laughs> if it, if the scenes are too dark for you, you can adjust the brightness. Yeah, okay. So we're supposed to restrain this guy? Yeah. With, with my hand? With I'd rather restrain this guy before he recovers. Hand. I guess they want to see that hidden object back there. Is there anything else first, though? So Kiwi says the $60 game is Overwatch. I heard that's a popular game. Oof, that, I know yeah, a lot you. about games, as you can tell. So we have to find a notepad. So about, some of the things are highlighted, um, so thing. those are usually harder to find. Yeah, that looks like the notepad. Baseball bat? Wait, what? Oh, you're going that way. Horizontal, yeah. Mm. Do you want to do vertical? Or I, I just didn't notice that you were doing horizontal right away. I so. think it's this here. Oh yeah, good job. Watch. Overwatch? I thought maybe the the act of watching. <laughs> so we're looking for like some eyeballs. Like maybe these here. Oh, apparently this is something. <laughs> oh, <turns> goodness. <laughs> There's the watch right there. Okay. Pepper spray. Is this pepper spray? I don't know what it looks it like. It kind of looks like the pepper spray that I carry, so I'll say yes. Donut. Donut, good. Fuse. <clears throat> that looks like a shotgun. Yeah, I was going to say, but... Cartridge? Oh, it's not this thing. What is this? Something you can pick up. Okay. Um, what is this thing? A fuse. Ah. What about some handcuffs? I think that's those right there. That? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. They didn't look like handcuffs from where I was. Binoculars. Handgun. Up here. Raise. We think some of the items are written in green because you have like usually it's a two part thing. You have to expose them in some way. No, oh, that's the coin, yeah. And shotgun. Here? Yeah. So I guess we start touching things now. Right, so yeah, so we're gonna have to probably I'll have to put a smile on that face. We'll have to use something to create the smile, probably this marker. I put this down now. <laughs> I might <laughs> be can't. stuck. Oh, there we go. You're thinking the marker to make the smiley face? Right. So Wait. Who would put a window thing like right in the middle of the door? Wouldn't it be like up here? You know, when when you roll down a window? I'm assuming that whoever made this um is too young for how windows <laughs> things work and they're like, I don't know, just put it in the middle. Somehow this light is gonna help us find either a police badge or a knife. Okay. That's yeah, there's oh. the <laughs> kind of. What else? What else is interactable? Where was it? I got it somewhere here. I lost it. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> hey, we found two useful items. Usually you only find one useful item. That's true. The way those were positioned, it sort of looked like you were supposed to squish them together, but maybe we can use them to restrain this thug. So were you taking the fuse? No, I'm not taking the fuse. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. Is that what it said? Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Wait, even even the fuse. Oh, wait, so that means well, maybe the fuse hand. would have been the right thing. No. That might have might worked work in, in a better time, time period. <laughs> that feels like a hint of some sort. <laughs> Man. Does this not connect to that? Oh, like this then? Wait, it didn't snap? Dang. Is this this? Yep. Targets are paying to the objective of interrogation elimination. TT time travel assassination. Nice. Siemens restaurant, Sunward City. So, except for the last one that we played, 
every hidden object, the heroine's name is Sarah, right? I don't know that it's always like Sarah. 100% of the time? I feel like I don't remember it always being Sarah. I think 100% of the time it's Sarah. Well, I mean, your, your memory is better than mine, so... <laughs> My assassin knows my name, and you seem to think we're related. My nephew from the future, that's insane. I'll explain everything, Aunt Sarah. I promise, but I've been hurt. Let's go inside your restaurant. In here? Is there anything else? Elusive objects or something? Oh, yeah. Sometimes there's elusive objects, which is really fun. Let's go inside. See, man. So, oh, snap. They're going to make you play a Dreamcast game starring Leonard Nimoy. Seaman, is it called Seaman? It's called. I thought it has another word in it. I, I want to say singing Seaman, but I, but I don't think it's that. It's a game where you like you have a microphone and you have to. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's incredible. Oh, the wind's knocked out the electricity. Even if he's lying, he saved my life, and he needs my help. But first, the lights. Kagero says it was really just Seaman. I thought it had a verb in front of it. That's why I was saying singing, but I mean, I'll take your word for it. I guess we'll go in the kitchen, because that's where the fuse is going to be, right? The fuse box, I mean. This looks a lot like the um, kitchen from that game we played, um, Danger Panda. Yeah, Danganronpa. Right, Danger Panda. That's the key for the fuse box, I assume. Oh, and we have a fuse. That's going to be handy. Really could use a handcuff right now, though. We have multiple fuses, apparently. <laughs> it's confusing. There's a lot fewer things in the rooms than I'm used to. That is a realistic looking toolbox. Wow. Now, why did I think it was a good idea to lock this? Is it her restaurant? Yeah. Oh. I'll have to fix a wire. <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> I guess I, I accented the wrong syllable. Sorry. Confuse. Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Now you get it. Now you get it. Confuse. Ing. And he's suing for punitive damage. Yeah. Fuse is missing. Okay, so let's stick in some fuses. Let's randomly flip things. Maybe I missed a step. If the wind knocked oh. out the electricity, why would that affect well, the fuses? There were fuses here, but the wind blew them out of their, their <laughs> socket. And then... Oh, that kind of wind. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, it, it found the key, unlocked the box. <laughs> Now I can see what I'm doing, Alatenta Mike. My nephew from the future. Oh no, that sounds like Mike. Mike, what the hell happened? I need a first aid kit in order to bandage his wounds. I guess I would keep the first aid kit over here somewhere. Might be my instinct, but... Um, but I'm not seeing one <laughs> in the kitchen, maybe. Hmm. I could see a first aid kit being kept here also, but sure, doesn't seem like it. I could go outside, go shopping for... <laughs> no, nope. No, Mike needs medical attention. What are you doing? What about that thing on top of the refrigerator? Oh, Did you try that? Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, nope. It was flickering, right? But, but just as a joke. Yeah, that nothing. Aha! It animated the hammer mm -hmm. like. That was cool. Oh, first. <laughs> I have no medic, so I have to follow the diagram on the inside of the box lid. 
Just what, scissors? This just looks like a perfectly good coat, though. Yeah, but you gotta that was get easy. to the wound. <laughs> now you have to use the this bottle. Yeah. Painkill. No, I feel like it's it's gotta be like antiseptic spray or something, not painkillers. How do I put this down? What's the bottle behind that? That's what I was trying to grab. So here's painkillers, and then I'm trying to grab either this or this, but it won't let me. Here's antiseptic, but it's like a later step, it looks like. Yeah, maybe just give him some painkillers so that he can handle what you're going to do to him. Here, there, Mike. Now just relax. Don't talk. Look at his eyes. Yeah, he wasn't planning to talk. <laughs> what? What is this? Is that a bandage? Uh, sure. Maybe an alcohol wipe? Yeah, it's not... Well... Apparently you should do it just like MGS3. That would be, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yes, but try an, but these are different try steps. Did you try an alcohol wipe? Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. It's saying you have to do exactly this. And I don't know what this symbol is supposed to be. The gloves? No. This one? No. Maybe the tape? No. Nope. Let's just. I, maybe this is. I don't, maybe there's nothing. Maybe let's just go. Because in real life, you would want to put. You have my brother's eyes, his chins. Does that mean we did it? I think so. Now the bandage. Yeah. Now the tape. So so this was nothing. It was just like there just, to confuse just you. Rest. It's like a picture of a cot, and you're resting during that portion. I'm grateful for your help. That man was part of the mafia that rules the city in the future. Let me prove time travel is possible. This accident happened exactly 25 years ago. The limit of my portable time device. I can send you back to the time. Make sure that accident never happens. Traffic what? like malfunction for people died in an unavoidable accident. Unavoidable. He's going to send us 25? Yeah. See, he can't just go back and, and do it himself. He has to send us. He has to oh, come back to our time. The, gotcha. Because that's the limit of the device. Okay. But it said right on there that it's an unavoidable accident. Yeah, so I don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Apparently we agreed to it. Now we're back in the olden days. Which is apparently is in color, whereas the present is in black and white. One of the great things about hidden object games is like the objects that you're looking for are often weird old-fashioned things that no one uses anymore, like a yeah. rotary telephone, so maybe they just... Cold iron, you know, right. where you put coal in it. To... <laughs> right, exactly. So maybe that's why they wanted to set it in the past. My father's death. I wish I could have traveled further back in time to save him. Who continues the war against the Mafia? City Council honors the death of Gordon Pennington and four others. Forensic evidence reveals fire was caused by a toy stove in the children's room. <laughs> Who is making a toy stove that can catch fire? I mean, it wasn't supposed to catch fire. It's a defect. <laughs> Bottle. This? Uh, maybe. I guess. Spoon. The kid I was testing today, she was like trying to eat oatmeal as her snack. There's one on the saucer over there. And she was like, do you have a spoon? And I was like, no. And she goes, well, what have you got? And I'm like, I have a fork. And she's like, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> she ate her oatmeal with a fork. Sharpener. Like a pencil sharpener? Yeah. Screwdriver. Yeah. Lemon slice. Yeah. Safety pin. No, that's a... Okay, yeah. I was going to go for this with guy. The paper, cutter, uh, the paper clip. Hole punch. No, that's a thingy. A plier. Hole uh, that hole punch. I think that's oh, this? yeah. I think that's a hole punch. Ladder. Yep. Ribbon. Like the one you win um, for chick holding. For chick holding. You went to the fair with me, and I got a ribbon for chick holding. I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. I remember I a getting a ribbon for counting bees or something like that. We also got a ribbon for counting bees. Tweezer. Did you actually hold the chick? Yes. There's a picture of me holding the chick, and then later there's a picture of me holding up my ribbon for chick holding. I don't remember this at all. I can send it to you on Facebook. All right, thank you. I need proof, or else I won't believe. I think you came up with the title. Chick holding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like you? It does sound like something I would say. It does. Adhesives. 
What is this? Is this a camera lens? Yeah, it probably goes to that camera. Or with, what's this? Paint. Red frame. So we need a paintbrush for the frame, I guess. Yeah. What's this? Apparently I knocked something over. A squeegee? Probably found a squeegee. There's a frame. There's a frame. Oh, there's, there's the paintbrush. paintbrush. Oops. Great. All the paint fell off the paintbrush. Tape. What did we find? Wow, three useful objects. And like, probably things you would actually take from there. Well, I wouldn't take the ladder. That seems like a hassle. Like, unless I had something in mind, I wouldn't just carry a ladder around with me. In a hidden object game, you should always carry a ladder around with you. Um, I guess we just move on. Like, we didn't have any motivation for searching this area, but... Seared tuna, I think, in... Roasted, roasted potato, potato something or something fish in pirate style <laughs> sure all right i don't know if you guys could tell what she was doing she was reading the sign here because uh, you know you pointed to the screen but of course oh. our viewers can't see that oh, you're pointing to the screen sure. so just right, for anyone wondering what the heck we were just talking about there do we have the screwdriver so yeah we do we brought the screwdriver back in time with us, and now we can fuck around with the traffic lights. You know, to prevent accidents. Unavoidable ones. What the, What is this thing? A handle? Why would you just, like, why would you keep a handle in here? I don't what if you need it? How about get out now? Is that it? Do we fix? Oh wow, I never really thought about them keeping... Do you think they still do that? Do you think they keep spare bulbs in those boxes that you sometimes see on telephone poles? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's still a problem with this though, and I don't know what the problem is. Probably has to do with that handle. This one open without a handle. Maybe that's why the handle is in there, so that random people can't access this panel. Oh, this is... Oh, it's not. I was about to say, oh, it's a puzzle because it didn't go in. Well, actually, maybe it is, because like, these colors don't line up, and I don't know if that's a problem or not. It probably is a problem that the colors don't line up. Okay, so then... Where would this guy go? Like here, I guess? Yeah. Which means this guy has to go here. This looks promising yeah. for that guy. This looks screwed up for this one. So then maybe not these two. But this guy over here. Which means this guy over here. Where's the other red one we got? Here it is. Right there. Right there. And right there. I feel like we just learned a lot more about stoplights than. <laughs> Wait, the newspaper is changing. Just like in Back to the Future. 100th anniversary celebration at Siemens. Siemens celebrate a hundred years. <laughs> Ex mayor Gordon Pennington unable to attend. Can't believe what just happened. I've rewritten history. It feels good, doesn't it? Rectifying past mistakes, there is a more important event that must be reversed, but you have to travel further back in time than my device allows. Before you can make the trip, you must. Reassemble a more powerful time machine. Why do like why why can't you do that? Why do I have to do this? He's got the arm injury <laughs> This griffin wing belonged to your father. I've had it since I was a child and I was told to reveal its secret to you. Is it familiar to you? Yes, it is familiar. My father used to tell a tell about it when I close my eyes. I see an airship. It's the picture on the wall He's just gonna have a seat now. It's a restaurant. Aunt Sarah, I came to help, but I must return to my own time before the Mafia retakes control of the time machine. Please, take this. We can communicate with each other across space and time. Bye, nephew from the future.
Mike, are you there? Is this thing working? Yes, not Sarah. It's working perfectly. I'm sorry I had to leave you, but I had to return to my own time to prevent the map chef from taking control of the time machine. He's pointing out something important there. Shouldn't you have just erased him from the timeline? By resolving the problem he needed to solve, he shouldn't have gone back in time to begin with. <laughs> this might be um, Terminator style rather than uh, like Nobikov consistency principle. Oh, I have apps. Objective. Open the safe. What is this? Is this a map? Yeah. Oh, maybe it, uh, were those like lasers? Like uh, cameras? I... Oh, no. I'm wondering if that means you're standing here and you're looking like here's your field of vision. Oh. That's my interpretation because here's the table, right? That's pretty sophisticated. We've never seen one of these in a um, hidden object game. Yeah. The lock mechanism resembles a griffin and it's missing a wing. What if we put the wing on there? Uh... I don't know what shape I'm supposed to be making. I assume everything has to be one color or another. Like there can't be any gaps. Yeah, I agree with there can't be any gaps. Oh, there's a white one underneath that I can't rotate, I just realized. Okay, so that, that sets the constraints on the other guys. That's helpful. I think there's a white one under your blue one there, that, so that can't be there. That can't be there either. Alright, okay. Dang. I feel like that's not that far up, but try moving the red one. There's a skip button. Yeah, most of these games have skip buttons. Most of these hidden object games. Before you get fed up. I'm not sure. Have you ever skipped a game? I think we did once. Like maybe the, the maybe most recent one we game. played. Yeah, we might have. And I'm feeling it for this one too, because this. Neb is a completionist, so if he can, he really likes to read every single thing, play all the games, even when they're games in quotation marks. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to count how many different com possible purple locations are, ignoring everything except purple and white, and it seems like a lot. What I'm hoping for is that one of them has like only one possible place, just looking at red and uh, like the the color and white, and then that means I don't I know that that guy is correctly set. 
But so far it looks like both red and purple have multiple locations they could go to. Is there white back there? Is there white here? I can't yes. tell. Yes. There is? Uh, I think so. No. So where do we... There's like three whites. Like there's this one. Mm -hmm. This one and then this one, I guess. Right. That's one valid, and this is two valid already, and this is three, I think, because nothing in here in blue overlaps with any of the whites, and four, so there's actually a lot of blue ones right. also. Which might mean there's a lot of possible solutions. Usually, if you're, when you develop a puzzle, you make sure there's only one solution, but... Is there anything from the, like, does this have to continue, or can they be completely random? trying to understand what you mean you're saying that use the information that this gap might have to be empty I'm trying to see if that's possible it doesn't look like it's possible it looks like every no matter how i rotate the blue well blue, go back one see how this makes what looks like a design the yeah. white with the blue next to it is that useful information looks like there's two ways of doing that Let's see if every color combines. I think the green is combined with the bottom one here, maybe. Oh, but it overlaps with this one, so that it can't be that. But it maybe it could be this. Try rotating it um, to see what happens if you match it up with that, the top one. The green one? Yeah. Cannot match with the top one. So the only way the green can match is with this. So if we use that information, then this is the only position green can be in. And red matches there. And I guess like this, it also kind of matches. That looks really good. It looks pretty. All right, let's try that one then. Except then you have a red and green overlap, I just realized. So that's bad. I don't like where you have the green one. Uh, okay. Actually, this this makes red and white overlap also. And I guess you're right. This this doesn't look like as good a yeah, match as I thought. Yeah, like a good match. But this one means red and white overlaps. Okay. Wait, so there is four white ones. One, oh, two, there three, it is. four. So maybe go back to your um, theory of are, are there actually multiple blue placements? So the one. Nope. Hang on a second. Yeah, okay, so. Two. Three. But this one looks good. Well, the, the bottom and the, and the right. left, but this, this one's iffy. Right. Go back one. Hmm. Never mind. Now just fit the green one and the red one in, and it'll be perfect. There's only three green ones. Okay, now fuss with the red one. Can you hit the print key on the keyboard? The print key? Yeah, top right corner there. Where? This one? The pause break key? Yeah. Hit it again. <coughs> Sorry, that wasn't the right key. You want print screen? <coughs> What's happening? I'm coughing. <coughs> It was supposed to mute the microphone, but apparently oh. it's not working. Okay. See? That's what I was trying to get you to do. Oh. I had to take over.
Codex. Man, I'm having a coughing fit. My darling Sarah, my daughter, it's so hard to write this knowing that if you're reading it, that means we have felt in our duty to protect time. But I'm cheered in the knowledge that our nightly story ritual has led you to this, your destiny. You remember the story about the griffin wing kept in an airship. You, uh... Now you understand why I told you the story before tucking you in each night. You must know that you hold our future in your hands. Every single page of this codex, hidden separately and carefully, contains relevant pieces of information about us. To ensure the survival of our secret order, called the Order of the Griffin, you need to find them all. As I write this, our order is in great danger. Once we were strong and could check evil's influence, but those times are gone. Our former leaders served well and fought their fights against dark forces to create a safe world for everyone, but something went wrong. It was if, if time itself conspired against our order. The dragons, as they call themselves, got wind of the time machine and confirmed its existence. Our wise ancestors banned time travel and deprived the machine of its heart by apportioning the rings among the members of the Secret Five. Traditionally, the rings had been passed down from parent to heir, but the chair need chain needs to be broken, and we have to hide them all. The fact that you have found this codex means that the Secret Five is gone. If the city you live your days in is a city where no one would want to live, know that we lost the war against the dragons. But since you have found this codex, hope survives. If you're brave and your heart is strong, follow our instructions and use your intuition to secure the future. May 5th, 1963. The future may lie in your hands. A brave human is what it demands. In the center building down below, you might find the obsidian glow. Time to write a poem. Okay, so hopefully I'll be okay for the rest of the game. Mike, in the safe I found a codex. It seems my dad was a member of the secret society called the Order of the Griffin. They use a time machine protected by special rings. There's a hint of one of the rings locations near the old center building, which is a construction site now. I need to go there. You're right. Your father was an important person in the Order of the Griffin. If he hadn't died, the Mafia, known as the Dragons, couldn't have taken control over the city. You must continue alone on the mission we were meant to do together. Be careful, there's danger lurking around every corner. Look at this dog. It's a cute dog. Uh oh. Oh! Not so cute anymore. <laughs> little Dr. Tan should put that dog to sleep. Dr. Tan. Wow. This is not how... Oh, it's a hidden... Okay. This is not how I thought a restaurant fridge would be laid out. <laughs> mm. This is more like a personal home fridge. What did you think a restaurant fridge would be laid out? Like, lots and lots of the same thing over and over again. I don't know what this is. Oh, is that showing me what it looks like? Like, what? this is what jam looks like? In case you don't know what jam is? Oh, that's actually helpful. Well, now that we know what jam looks like, is it this? Sure. Nope, that's horseradish. Uh-huh. This? That's like a Mayonnaise. rutabaga. Rutabaga? Well, it's not any of the objects on our list because I just clicked on it. Is this one jam? I'm pointing the thing next to the milk this? curtain. Yeah. Dang, the jam. you're right. Paprika paste. This? Yeah. Nope, nope that, that was, was ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> These? There's so many of them, so I feel like it's not that. This? That's what probably whipped cream. How about this one? Nope. This? Sure, that's a paste. Maple syrup. This guy? Yeah. Wow, I would not keep my maple syrup in there. It would taste like everything else in the fridge. Ice pack. Apparently the ice pack is not in the fridge. It must be this thing that holds ice cubes. Nope. You'd think so, but this is what an ice pack looks like, you fool. Uh. It's like a- it's this thing here. Oh, okay. I thought that was part of the refrigerator. Eggplant. It's- and this- yeah. 
whipped cream, maybe this thing. Yep. Ham. Like, usually when I think of ham, yeah, that is what I think. Okay, so I was worried, like, I, I was worried you were going to think this is ham. But no, we're on the same page of what ham is. <laughs> I like the helpful little shadow cast. I mean, right now it's not helping me find the ham, but... Is it behind there? No. Man. Show me the ham again. Oh, it's right here. This is the, um, yeah. I did click on that, though. Well, not well. Watermelon is down there, yeah. Is that, like, just the letter B? Uh, like this? Yeah, sure. Jeez. So is this going to have cooperative 4D puzzle solving like in Data Tentacle? I'm trying to jarn guess the meta game, can't help myself. I, I doubt it's going to have 4D time travel co-op. I think it's just us. I think Mike is going to be useless. That's my prediction. I don't know what any of that means, but I love the idea that there's a game somewhere called Day of the Tentacle. There is. Uh, we That's can check amazing. it out sometime. <laughs> That's fantastic. Is it safe for work? It's safe for work. All right. Cheese. Ice cream. I feel like that's in the freezer. Whoa, with a turkey. Where this frosted turkey is? Frosted? Gross. You know, you put some frosting on no. it. No. Oh, I think this is also a freezer pack for some reason. Eating out of the container isn't civilized. Uh. So we found ice cream, but we're going to eat it. <laughs> and we don't want to eat it out of the pack. Well, we lucked out. That's it's a last small one. number of eggs for a restaurant. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird that like we went outside of what sort of looks like the hidden object frame in order to find an object to use. All right, we got the ham. We have to doctor it up somehow. First, we shave it because we wouldn't want to get the dog too much ham. Touch the button. <laughs> Obviously. That user interface design. Yeah, because what you want to do is stick your fingers near a blade and just randomly have to push buttons. We had set it to fail, and we can never look inside the. Um... Oh, sorry, I have it. We can never look inside the drawer, first aid kit. Yeah, again. <laughs> you said mouse ran. I did. Under. I did see that. We need a cheese knife. Wow, how many mice are in here? The Swedish word for um, cheese knife is ostivel. That is a weird looking knife. It's a cheese knife. It has um, holes in the blade so it cuts through the cheese more easily because you're dragging less blade through the cheese. What are these? Sure. You can get a um, view of the uh, <clears throat> object in question. This yeah. guy? Yeah. <coughs> sure. Nope. Why are you making me cough? I don't know. Maybe this thing. Isn't nope. that what you just clicked on? I thought I clicked on this thing. Oh. It's neither of those things. Well, what's it look guys. like? Oh, I bet it's this. How did you know? I'm very good at identifying jam. Whisks. This one hanging there, yeah. A colander? Colander. Colander? That's a fancy word for strainer. Strainer? What do you call it? The uh, holy bowl. <laughs> you do not call it the holy bowl. <laughs> I, think it, I think that's a ladle. That's a ladle? No way. It's a type of ladle. Well, it wasn't that. Okay. It's supposed to be, it's like a spoon, but then the, the spoon. Yeah, like this. Is like that ladle up weird. there at the yeah, top. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Kettle. This? 
Do you mean tea kettle? Or... I think they mean like tea kettle. Like this. Yeah. Walk. Right there, yeah. Garlic. Oh. oh. Never speak through a colander, you'll strain your voice. <laughs> Stephanie likes that one. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of puns. Love it. Yeah, that was the host sound effect. Coltnet is hosting. Thank you for the host, Coltnet. Uh, garlic. Is this a bowl full of yeah, garlic? Yeah, it's like a bowl full of garlic. Now we have to get the mouse in a trap. No, we need to find the plastic jug first. Oh, sorry. I keep trying to go in order. I forget that you don't like to do that. I am doing them in order, but then we do but all the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. interactables mm -hmm. last. Is it this? What? That's like a toaster. That's a toaster. I feel like there's a toaster. I would expect like a lever or something here if there's, if this was a toaster. How about this thing? Yeah. Did you say a lever? Yeah. Okay. How about a teapot? Not a kettle, mind you, but a teapot. I do a test um, for kids where there's one teapot and one kettle, and the kids are like, a teapot and another teapot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's All right, close. we got some sliced pineapple. Uh ha. Never speak through a colander. It'll yeah. strain your voice. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. It's only funny when I tell the puns. <laughs> right, I found a cheese for our trap. Yeah, but you don't want to do them in that order. I didn't know that I was going to pick up a cheese when I clicked there. Oh. What is this? I think that's where we keep our sedative. From drug brand Oh, products. this is a trap? Yes. It's a humane trap. Yeah, I guess so. Because no animals were harmed in the making of this. I was thinking the thing with the spring and the, the bar. And... Yeah, that would kill the mouse, and it's not that kind of game. That's why we're just sedating the dog enough. It specifically said it won't harm him. Are you sure? The long-term effects of sedatives on dogs? I'm trusting the game. Plus, we can go back in time if we need to. This is cool. We slice it because then it fits through the mouse slot. That's and we don't smart. even have to open the door. That's very clever. I was going to open the door and toss the ham <laughs> in, but... This is a better system. Yeah. <laughs> is there some rotten food thrown out on the street? Is this an onion? Uh, sure. I think this it's means not. the dragons are winning because the um. Because it's not a world we would want to live in. Right. Oh, they mean that kind of onion. green onion. They call it green onion even though it's white. Yep. Because the the onion part of it is green. The part that you eat, the the. Chives Wait, you don't part. eat that part? No, you don't eat the bulb. Is this a cucumber? It's uh... green. I suppose it's a cucumber if we don't have anything else better. I think this is a cucumber. Cotnat says the bulb is delicious too. Sorry, what did you point at this? Uh, this? I pointed at, pointed at the cucumber. This. Really? The bulb is delicious? I don't. I've, I. I didn't know people ate that part. That's cool. Yeah, matchbox. Yeah. Are you? Is this a radish? Yeah. Mushroom, yeah. Pumpkin. Corn. Oh, that one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, pear, yep. Yeah. Croissant. Yep. Yeah. Box juice. Does that say ziz or does that say 212? 21z, I think. Flower. I mean, this could be a box. Nope, it's not. I just realized we're gonna have to make lemonade. Flower. Because life gave me lemons. No. 
Why? Okay. You like Kagero's joke, but you don't like my joke? Yeah. Glass of champagne. So here's the champagne. Where's the glass? This is glass. Here we go. Zed says Cotnet. That must have been what was on the, the bottle. No, nah, I think it's because we said Z. Like, what did you say? Does that say Z one? Yeah. He's saying that was what. Oh, sorry, box. He's saying that's what was on the box. I don't know where the oil is. Well, this is the only thing left, and we know that it lights up. No, that up, was the sugar. So. For the oh, lemonade. that was the sugar for the lemonade? Okay. Uh, Apparently, it's, it's up back there. here. Yeah. Of course. Oh, I feel like we're about to do some violence. <laughs> I'm glad we don't need like the cucumber and the radish though, because I don't want to play that game. Yeah, I got what you meant. <laughs> but I didn't want to... I literally just picked two things at random, but then it ended up sounding like that, so... Can I combine objects? Nope. I was working my dream. What the <laughs> hell are these messages? I don't know. Maybe we gotta do something here later. Without the map is backing, you haven't got a chance of winning. I guess that's like a reality show or something. Wow, there's a lot of locations. Like, this really opened up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Most of the other hidden object games we played, like usually there's only a couple areas that you can look at. You can go to the time and so it's sort of, oop. Mike, I've just left the restaurant and I'm heading to the construction site. I think that's where the first ring is. Thank you for helping me out, Sarah. But please be careful. If something happens to you, the future will be lost. Usually in hidden object games, like you know where you're supposed to go because there's only a few places that you can go. I have a tool. I don't have a tool, I guess. I could try to set the whole thing on fire, but I doubt that's what they want. Nice top hat, Tug. He only won because you rigged the elections. Wait, what? What just happened? The wrenches are color coded. I should find them. You yeah. have to find a color coded set of wrenches, I think. But I realize what happened is that this thing is rotating. Right. That's the part that I didn't understand. Oh. Until. Something's up there. You gotta get the wrenches. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do now, actually. Did you go in the playground? I thought that you would couldn't because of the electric, whatever, like this thing. Oops. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Can I just climb over this? Probably not. If something happens here, the future is lost, so it is causality. So it is a causality timeline. The future... Um... I think we're trying to prevent the dragons from taking over, and she's the only one who can do that. So if she's not available to do that, then... Um... The dragons will just be unchecked. Oh, bus. We can go to the bus. Yeah, I think what there's um, it wasn't too different for me to read numbers. There's two general. Just the rag. What rag would we want to grind? There's at least two g general styles of um, time travel. Why do I want the numbers? We don't know yet. There's basic. I guess one way to classify this is to say there's a single timeline versus a multiverse style thing. Rise against dragons are a few who resist the mafia and follow my flesh footsteps. So the movie Back to the Future is single timeline in the sense that um, 
when Marty goes back in time and he does something, like he carries a piece of newspaper with him, right? So then you see that the chain when he made a change. What was it? Seven, seven, three, four, four, or something like that. Seven, seven four, four three, three three. So Marty seven four three three. So Marty um makes a change in the past and then he sees the newspaper he carries on him change. Um in Terminator when you when um was it it's not John Connor, it's someone else. I read the name of the guy who goes back in time. Or when the robots go back in time and they do something. Um, there's no immediately apparent effect. Like, the Terminator doesn't fade out, for example, or whatever. It's um, instead there's it creates another branch, branching timeline. And oh, it's probably the players' part for the, the wood, boarded up wood thing. It creates another branching timeline so that from now on, quote unquote, like the robot uprising won't happen. And so then, there, so what CAG is getting into, I think, is um, which of the, you know which system is this game using? He's saying like if there are multiple concurrent timelines, it doesn't matter if she does or doesn't act. His future won't change, but a different him will have an alternate future. Oh yeah. God! Yeah. So from Mike, if if it's Terminator style, Mike who returned to his time is like fucked no matter what. Like his his future is set, but. And there's an ultimate, like, you know, quantum reality or parallel universe Mike who would then have a happier life. Weird. I feel like I would have a hard time <coughs> trying to do all this work so that a different one of my nephews in the future could have a different future. It looks like one of your friends wants to know which timeline you're going to be playing DDR, DDR in. in. <laughs> Not this one, apparently. <laughs> So, Hui, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I haven't done DDR in a long time. You know what? It's My excuse is it's winter. It's freaking cold. I don't want to walk sweaty down the street. That's your excuse? That's my excuse. That's pretty lame. Um, you gotta find a glove. There's one right there. Where? Sorry, I was blinking. Okay, yep. yeah, I got it. I think that's either a trowel or a spade. Well, that was a big spade. That was basically a shovel. Right. But Wait, and now we have to find a shovel. shovel. <laughs> duct tape. Don't we have duct tape on us? Yeah, but probably they want this one. So we'll have more duct tape. You know, like this game has evidence of, of being back to future sad though, because we literally took a newspaper with us, went back in time, did something, and saw the newspaper change. Mm -hmm. This thing, maybe? Apparently not. Hui, have you gotten any new high scores since last time I went on DDR? I know you took, was it Fascination? And you didn't say anything, you bastard. What else have you taken from me? Or competing for high scores on the DDR machine. Mm. The same machine, obviously. Yeah. Not in different timelines? No. Same timeline, same machine. Mm. Haven't gone regularly recently, says Hui. All right. I mean, you say that, but then I'm going to go and I'm going to see all my scores are gone. Where the heck is the pickaxe? Twitch chat, if you see a pickaxe, let us know. All right. Oh. There. This thing here. That was really hard to see. Up your butt. Whoa! <laughs> that's that's called Nat's meme. She says oh. that whenever I ask. Oh. Where anything is. Alright. That makes it okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Is this the base of such? I don't know. That's probably just a pole. Yeah, I think that's just a pole. Ooh. 
This is like a like one of those electrical ones. Yeah, jackhammers. Does it count as a sledgehammer? No. Yeah, well, we can find out what, what that they're oh, thinking. No, they, okay. they're thinking of the traditional oh, sledgehammer. Literal. Okay. I mean, they also have a boombox on a rope, <laughs> so I wasn't sure. Don't you hate it when like you're taking a shower, but like sometimes <laughs> you drop your boombox? <laughs> So if you just tie the boombox to a rope, that. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't. I couldn't. I didn't see the yeah, black head or whatever it was there. It was hard. Like even after I clicked on it, I didn't see it. That's, I saw it in the animated version, but I didn't see how it was. That's why it's important to play um, hidden object games with a girl. Yep. Spirit level. What is that? Isn't that the thing with the bubble in it, and it tells you if your thing's crooked? Seems plausible. Yeah. Is it this thing? Yeah. Wrench. I feel There's like there's someone. Yeah, okay. Over there. Rising sun. <laughs> this is pretty. Um, the... Oh, yeah. I was going to say pretty abstract. Hand saw. On the ground. Yeah. Low torch. Maybe this thing? Alright, so clicking on random things. So we got a boombox, I guess, for it to accept. Yeah. Sorry. It's way too high to reach, though. Obs. Oh, that one was easy. Oh, you made a. A U turn. The abstract concept of a U turn. You found a useful cassette. No, oh, a crowbar. I must be careful the alarm system is activated. So I just grab the keys. <laughs> Can't grab the other key. Also possibly some instructions? Yeah, no? it doesn't seem okay. like I can take that. I need to deactivate the alarm system. I bet the cable runs through the tunnel nearby. I don't know what tunnel she's talking about. The nearby tunnel. Oh, ignition key. That's for the this guy. Crowbar alarms your spat of a fog away from being stuck in Silent Hill. I don't like Silent Hill. Am I lined up here? Maybe I'm lined up like this. This looks good. Sun Hill is too spooky of a game for me. What is the premise? Um, I think you're driving a, a car and then like, is it your daughter or something like that? I don't remember. But like it's foggy and then you're like, whoa, what the heck? And then you crash and then now you're walking around town looking for your daughter and then like nurses with their face sewn shut are walking. You know, it's a horror game basically. Oh god. There's something down there in the dark, but it's too far down for me to jump. Where's my rope ladder? Right there. Now I can climb down. Into the sewer. Good. Yep. Can't see anything. It's too dark here. Don't light a match in a sewer. Good lord. I guess you can fill the oil lamp. This lamp would be helpful if it weren't empty. We're in a and future that has like buses and boom boxes, but also oil lanterns. Also, the music's getting intense. We have to find her and force her to tell us where the rings are. Then we won't need her anymore. Hey, somebody turned on the lights. Uh-oh. A trap. Oh, God. Or she just tripped. No actual trap. Or he has a trap? I can't tell if this was a coincidence or if this was, like, the intended effect of the trap. It's hard to know. It's still crumbling. <laughs> That was close. I must have a guardian angel. It looks like there's like a sign there that tells you that could happen. Yeah, it says don't trip because if you do, <laughs> might cause. Doesn't it look like? Yeah, like the, the avalanche rocks sign. Rocks Yeah. <laughs> oh god, then there are one of these. Whoops. Wait, this isn't it, right? Yeah, it is, but it goes over here. Oh. That looks good. 
How are things going for you, Nebu? Oh wait, back from dinner. How are things going with you? Going okay. We're, we're saving the future. Yeah, we're saving time itself, or something like that. At some point, someone said or that. Or possibly our nephew. But like not in this timeline. Is this line up? I can't tell. No. Because I feel like we went through a full cycle. That oh, this one. Mm, that oh, here one. we go. M D L I X. Yep. What is that? Medlix. No. <laughs> Explosives danger. That's fifteen. I found 15, the obsidian 59. ring and the codex page. Fantastic. Oh, you're taking Roman numerals. I didn't pick up yes, on that. Yes, I am. You read this while I go cough. All right. The Order of the Griffin, Board of Leaders, a.k.a. the Secret Five. Name, <coughs> Gordon Pennington. Function, Keeper of Peace. <coughs> Ancestors, Founding Members. Ring of Belonging, the Obsidian Ring. The Obsidian Ring, which has been owned by my family for longer than a century, holds the Earth's powers. I am not long for this world, but my story must survive. We are the secret society called the Order of the Griffin. Living his life in turbulent times, one of my ancestors co-founded this society in the Middle Ages, 1551, also known as MDLIX, with some seemingly idealistic ultimate goals like protecting the vulnerable, helping the needy, and supporting the poor. In order to make the ideal into a reality and establish a sustainable and strong financial background, our society financed high potential experiments and became the owner of great inventions such as a time machine. The Griffins traveled through time to study important historic events. The more they got to know about time travel, the more they understood its risks. Finally, the Secret Five, the directorate of the Griffins, banned time travel. They hid the machine and distributed the rings among themselves. This happened in 1854. I'm a sworn member of the Secret Five, and I hide and protect my ring at all costs. This is the truth of the Emerald Ring. You, who now holds this ring, must be aware of one more thing. The coveted Emerald Link shows itself at the Lion King. It rhymes. King. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kiwi, I, I don't know why, but muting doesn't seem to work. Uh, normally, I have it bound on my keyboard to the like print screen key. And we pressed the print screen key, and it did not mute the game. I don't. Uh, it did not mute OBS. We did a lot of pushing the pause break key. Yeah, so I don't know if maybe the game is capturing the keyboard input or something like that and preventing OBS from seeing it. So we got to go to the Lion King. Oh, I found a ring and more notes from the Secret Five. The lion mentioned in the rhyme must be in the alleyway nearby, as I remembered from my childhood. I need to get that ring too. I only wish I didn't have to do this alone. You're not alone. I know you'll find what you need at the construction site. Use it to blaze a trail to the alleyway since the fence is electrified. Use it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It being the thing you find at the construction site? Yeah. The other thing I find strange is that they... It was too dangerous for to keep all the rings together. Right. But they kind of like just... Just put them all in the same them, neighborhood. Yeah, just put them nearby. <laughs> also, they studied tri time travel for like a really long time before deciding to it was dangerous. ban it. Time travel rings, griffins. This is Harry Potter stuff. It's too dark in here. I can't see what's happening on the shelf. Digital timer. That could come in it's handy. It's like a whole box of digital timers. Are we building a bomb? Yes. Oh, we're going to blaze a trail because the fence is electrified. Is this it? I don't see anything else that's interactable. That looks like everything. Oh. <laughs> bomb contains three part timer, detonator, and some explosives. So here's the timer. Here's the explosive. Detonator. Apparently this sledgehammer. I think that's a like little it's a it's thingy. literally a detonator. Oh. Wow. It's that easy, kids. <laughs> if you want to construct a bomb at home. Set the timer for a minimum of twenty <laughs> seconds. First. Cut it in I, half. Open I I guess this means it's wrapped in something. Like this is the actual explosive and this is just a wrapper. Like the plastic wrapping around it, so it's saying use the scissors wow. to cut open the wrapper. 
I feel like we're playing the anarchist's cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it had a little patent number on there. Look at that. Down here. That's hilarious. We're, we're firmly out of the realm of Harry Potter now. <laughs> Hold on, the fences electrified so explosives. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's more delicate ways of approaching <laughs> We just use this, like, but... an excavator to just open a sewer and then jump down in there. We're All right. maybe... At least 20 seconds, right? I should yeah. fasten the bomb. With duct tape? It's the wrong place. But the, up here, a few oh, pixels up, that was right the right time. place. Two seconds should be enough, right? <laughs> Let's go. Do it. <laughs> Wait, I'm not giving myself enough time. Bah. How much time could she possibly need? <laughs> wow, I'm surprised it let you like yeah. actually pick. Wow, that did not seem safe. No, it's leading the wrong way. <laughs> Why did I blow up this pillar instead of like blowing up the door itself? Because the door is electrified, you can't touch it. Even though it was unintentional, the explosive cut the circuit so it's safe now to approach the cables. Oh. That was unintentional. Well, little partner in time, you won't believe this, but the column leaned in the wrong direction. Got any more brilliant ideas? Get it, partner in time. Yeah, I got it. Get it. Get I got it. it. Hmm, I remember a one-way turnstile at the terminus. I guess to get through, you'll need to trick the turnstile mechanism. Once you're up there, call me. I might have an idea to how to get to the alleyway. There's also a bit of that other movie. You know, the, the mailbox that, where you through time? Keanu Reeves. Oh, God. Wow, that is old school. Yeah. Because, like, if... If he's like in the future, I know how. And, you're, he? and he's like, I'll just, just wait a bit. Like, tell me when you get up there. But like, <laughs> but you're in the future. Yeah, just, you're 25 you're years in the future, so I should have I should have already gotten up there right, right now. Right. Anyway. What did we need in here? Nothing really. We just we you know solve that. It was electrified. Problem. Now it's not electrified, no, it's so not. might as well. Okay, yeah. go in. Whoa! There's a. Is that a bird or is that a grasshopper? I think that's a frog inside oh, of a, a frog. Um, like a terrarium. Is this one the airplane? It's Superman, says Cotnet. This is an airplane? I guess it is. I was testing a kid the other day and she kept repeating over and over again, it's super frog, it's super frog. Sure. Like in response to a frog or just? <laughs> it's hard to explain. Okay. <laughs> Toy show. Like, was there a stimulus, or she just just randomly? There's a picture book that has some frogs in it. And okay. every frog, she wanted to make all the frogs say something, but yeah. mostly she just wanted to name the frogs and then have the frog do a little bit of dialogue. So she's like, this is Jerry the frog. He says, I'm super frog. And then she's like, That this sounds is, like Jerry. <laughs> this is Bobby the Fucking frog. Fucking arrogant. <laughs> he bastard. says, I'm super frog. <laughs> then she named one Bobby B. Fart. <laughs> Bobby beef heart. Classic yeah. Jerry. Yeah. It's a, a riveting <laughs> conversation. <laughs> she likes that one, Kagero. His friends are cracking me up, man. <laughs> thumbs up. Oh. Okay, black wrench. She did a thumbs up gesture also <laughs> towards me. I did. Mm. All right. Um. A blue wrench. No, a black. Oh, we need two wrenches. Yeah. I was already skipping ahead to the black wrench. <laughs> My cat came over to see what all the puns were. <laughs> like, why? Yeah, he loves. He puns heard there's too. a good pun going on around here. He did. <laughs> oh no. Oh, can't last forever, they, they eventually croak. croak. Oh, fantastic! Did you hear that one, Marley? Oh man, I, I never revealed to Twitch what the name of my cat was. I so. didn't either. Yeah, because you were talking to me. <laughs> right. My, my real life that's name your, is Marley. That's your nickname. Your yeah. <laughs> Don't listen, cat who shall not be named. <laughs> 
Yeah, now I got that was the name of, of my real life name. <laughs> you're, you're real my name life, in real right. life. Your real life name. Good point. The cat's Voldemort. Exactly. I don't understand these wrench things. I guess we Let, found a see. red what wrench, the... so. Wait, what? That's not what I thought a wrench looks like. What? I guess you mean like monkey wrench. Like they don't mean the one where it's a cr like a, a crescent at the end. They mean the one where it's a oh, circle. Oh, like these things. Um. Yeah, that's the black one, and then I think that's the blue one. Oh, they're like um socket wrenches. Oh, they're like color coded wrenches. I just realized <laughs> for the turnstile. Yeah. Yeah. Soccer ball. It's deflated. Flying disc. Like a frisbee? Yeah, but frisbee is a trademark term, oh, so they can't actually call it that. Gotcha. Oh, crap. It's a cute dog and cat. Yep, they're chilling they're on chilling. my stream. Nice. Thank you for the host, uh, Kiwi. Where? They never oh. expected the Highlander to be the... How do you pronounce it? Ho Horcrux? Horcrux? Horcrux, yeah. Wait, where's the car? This? Uh, no, oh. I thought we were doing tennis racket. Oh, we're doing crap. car. I keep obviously. getting on the wrong one. Maybe that thing? Yeah. What actually, does that mean? They never expect the Highlander to be a Horcrux. You know, honestly, I do not know. I feel like this is a mishmash of like at least three different memes. I know one of which is the Spanish Inquisition. Right. Then you never expect the Spanish Inquisition, and then the Highlander, like there can be only one. Yeah. And then Horcrux, I'm not. Horcrux is Harry Potter. Oh, see, that's why I don't. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Kiwi. Thank you, Kiwi. But like, but still, it's we just need like some three. Help. Like, why these three particular memes? You know, like I. Don't... The Highlander is a um, it's an old a movie time travel Scottish. Uh, there can be only one situation. Stars Sean Connery uh, as a really really fabulous man, and you <laughs> should totally watch it. <laughs> Clock. Oh yeah, there you go. Horse. Yeah, that could be a horse. Now uh, batteries. Where would batteries be? In this cupboard? Nope. Inside the... Uh, obviously. Three of them. I feel like this is the red wrench. Oops. I released the frog. Oh, you released the frog. Where? It's this thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, it has to be interactable, so... Right, but that's it, right? That, that's clearly it, but try again. I'll have Maybe to add it up. Chalk I or think something? That's oh. a piece of chalk. I found it. I found 15. Good job. That's always the weirdest one in hidden object games. Like the 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 lore or, or the narrative doesn't make sense. Like you're looking for something, so you take a writing instrument and you write it down and now you found it. Well, that's the easiest way to find what you're looking for, isn't it? Create it. Create your own reality. I'm not finding the interaction point. If only I could create my own interaction point. <laughs> <laughs> it's an order of meme, sir, but it checks out. That's a Star Wars meme. Ah. Uh. This is when. Is it Han Solo? They're, they're trying to board the Death Star by stealing an Imperial ship, and then they broadcast the docking code. Oh, And the right. guy's like, it's an older code, sir, but it checks out. Right. And they're like, okay, let them on board then. Right. Where the heck is the interaction point? Which seems like just bad security. Like, it's an old expired password, <laughs> but... Well, they didn't say it's expired. They just say, like, this is... The password, but no one's used that password for like, you know, a couple months now. Doesn't mean it's expired. It's just, it's weird, but there's nothing wrong with it. Man, I really have to go all the way to the corners, maybe, because I'm thinking, what if it's in the, these corners? Because I sort of was hovering around the middle of the screen, but.
actually Kagero, uh, Kagero and I have a mutual friend named Caesar, Caesar the writer, I think. And I was telling him, I, I you know, I was, he was like, I went to a stream. And he's like, oh, what, what were you streaming, Nabu? And I told him I'm play, I was streaming hidden object games. And he's like, what is that? And so I tried to explain what a hidden object game was to him, and he was like. So it's a game where the entire game is pixel hunting. That right. sounds like shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's amazing. Yeah, except for the part where you have to do pixel hunting. Right. I was giving this test um, this week to a 16-year-old, and he has to find, he has to scan an array of um, drawings to find three drawings that look like an example at the top okay um, and uh he was like this is kind of like a video game and i was like yeah it's like a hidden object game and he was like what's that <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh the kids these days they don't play the hidden object games anymore it was that it was, it was it that. was that i told you it was that but there was no interaction point i told you it was that but it was like <laughs> what is this bullshit <laughs> It, it wasn't, it was blue, implying that you need to do an interaction point. Yeah. But but there was no interaction point. I maybe, clicked it, it was Maybe that. what you had to do was clear the entire <laughs> screen. <laughs> that was the task. All right. So I guess we're going to go. That was probably really interesting for the viewers. <laughs> I guess we're going to trick the turnstile, right. uh, as Mike put it. He's going to have an idea for what we can do when we get up there. Is this a blue one or a black one? I can't tell. Uh, it says blue, right on there that it's blue. Reading is for losers, though. <laughs> if I tie the wrenches together, I can pull them at the same time. Maybe with a chain... Wait, what? Maybe with a chain looks like one from a basketball rim? So she's basically telling me to go... Find a basketball rim. And specifically the chain from one. Yeah. Well, if I were a basketball rim, I would be Street in, ball. in the basketball court. An overhead railway next to the basketball court. What a crazy city. I often wonder how different things would be if my father hadn't died in that fire. He would have made an excellent mayor. I see something in the netting that I could use. How can I get it? Well, what happened to our ladder? I guess we lost it. Or even an interaction point besides the net. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So we need to find a ladder again. It's way too high. Maybe I can use a rope somehow to climb up. I can use a rope somehow, but I can't. Oh. Oh, sports. I feel like that would not work in real life. Well, what if it's like a really shitty chain? Why am I still in the scene? I guess I have to explicitly leave it. Mm -hmm. What if it's a really shitty net and, you know, pieces of it are dangling off? I don't think... I mean, the reason that they haven't fallen off is that they're hooked on somehow. So just throwing a ball through isn't going to unhook them. How did we get up there? We're tall. All right. Now we're tall. Time for some sweet Duncan skills. She's heating up from downtown. <laughs> She's on fire. That's NBA Jam means. Yeah. Do you play NBA Jam? No, but it just sounds like... All right, you featured nephew. I made it over to Turnstile, and I'm standing at the platform. How about that idea you promised me? Sarah, I consulted with some engineers from our research team, and they say a simple solution to get to the alley way, even though it might sound crazy, <laughs> is to drive an empty train to hit the column. Simple. <laughs> Couple of engineers from our research <laughs> team are <laughs> brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, here's what they came up with. It's simple. I'm, you know, I'm trying to. I'm picturing that scene from Apollo 13 where he dumps <laughs> things on the desk. He's right. like, "Here's he's what like, she's got. We got what, do we, what, what do we do, a guys? Round <laughs> socket and a square. Yeah, some duct tape. Hey, 
maybe eventually they will, like, in the future, they'll crowdsource things like that. Like, they'll have a problem in the past that they want to solve, and what they'll do is they'll just make a sandbox world and, like, see what users come up with. And then eventually, if they keep playing forever, they'll come up with something that they can use back in time. This is a brilliant idea for a short story. Don't anyone take it. I won't take it. All Don't right. worry. <laughs> I promise I will not take that idea. <laughs> She's gesturing. Viewers can't see this. Threateningly at me. Threatening to touch him, which freaks him out. So it's a very effective punishment. All right. Oh, no. I dropped the bag. Is this part of our plan to empty a train? Yeah. We've created a time paradox. We have or I have? <laughs> uh, you like singular. Ah, me. This is from... Oh, battery's nice. This is from uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Mmm. Is there anything else? So most other hidden object games, when you're done, it kicks you out of the scene. So that's right. how you know you're done, but... This Not one doesn't this one. do that, so. Alright, so we need a whole bunch of batteries. Which we have. We have eight. I need I four need fully four. charged ones. Is this a charging thing? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. This is what we're doing now? <laughs> How do I know which one's the one? Like, holy shit. Oh, this is higher. Lower. No, that is lower. So, which one did I put fucking down? Like, it's not gonna help you keep track of that. So, higher or lower? I can't even tell. I think that's very similar, but possibly. I do not know how to stop a rhino from charging. Does it involve his horn? You take away its credit card. <laughs> oh, we got it. Yay. Fantastic. Wow. Whoa. I don't know what I'm doing, so let's just let's just do a bunch of these I don't, and go. <laughs> I don't want to go to um Aradian Martyr. That seems bad. Am I Heatherway? Heatherwari? I think you're trying to get to Heatherwari. So it didn't work. I guess I just killed someone. Yeah, that's no good. Oh, I wanna switch to Okay, I see how this works now. I fully understand the puzzle. It should get there now. How do I know the train was empty though, right? When I did this? Um, you'd already solved the trolley problem first. I guess we go in and check if it was empty now. And like grab random shit. Really? Is there another piece? Oh, this thing? Where did this thing go? go down here because it has to match that hole there. So like glass breaking hammer? Mm-hmm. Safety hammer. The collision jammed the door. Fuck you, door. I need to throw something heavy. 
Wow. You saw how that flew? Yeah. If she could throw that hard, I, I feel like she should have been able to just break the glass with a hammer. Did you not see her amazing basketball shot? Mike, I'm standing at the alleyway, and the rhymes show the pathway. It seems the rings were hidden deliberately to ward off the mafia. Every ring's location is marked by the previous one. This method ensures that only worthy adherents to the way of the order find all the rings and use the time machine. Really? Thanks, Mike. Thanks for that commentary. I feel like that's not accurate. A mirror. This, maybe? Like a uh, hand mirror? Possibly, yeah. A trowel. This thing? Like a shopping cart? Is that a trowel? No, a trowel is like a um, small shovel. Oh, really? That was it's, like a shopping kind of cart flat, but like, like You flat. actually use it to like flatten things. You might be thinking of trolley. It's not a trolley, it's what we just emptied and crashed. You're thinking of train. I thought train is when you practice something until you're good at it. You're thinking of practice. Is that maybe? Nope, that was a snow shovel. Oh. You're thinking of a snow shovel. Yeah, we're looking for trowel. You're thinking of a troll. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Cutnet, you killed the joke. We had a comma going there. Is it like a big shovel or is it like a small? Let's like, use it one handed. Picture of it. Usually it's one hand. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, a spade. No, <laughs> you're thinking of a shovel. Is this an umbrella? Yeah. Ashtray. Bottle. Maybe there. Keyboard. Keyboard. Red plug. Literal red plug. Paintbrush. This is like a oh, this thing here. I was going to say this <laughs> thing, but that's like a toilet brush. Yeah. Or a feather duster. Or a feather duster. Can opener. Is this a can yeah, opener? That's an old fashion can opener. Skateboard. Hanger. Also in the cart. Bicycle. So oh. what's wrong with the bicycle? It's missing its seat. Oh. And the pedal, apparently. So where's the pedal? It's in the cart. I got the joke, but it's so bad I don't even want to say it. I feel like we've set the bar pretty low, so go for it. It's so basically we built this bicycle a la carte. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm kind of Purple star. On so that. here, so here, and then I guess here's the spray can. Finish it up. I'm kind of digging the um. Recycling junk, collecting rings. Next, she'll summon Captain Planet. You know what? There was a, there's a freaking yeah. List. That's where I was going. But you built this city on rock and roll. That's where I thought he was gonna go. But I bet he doesn't even know that song. What are we even talking about? Maybe in here. We need to be to see him. You said we built this bike. Oh. a la carte but like the way you said it your intonation was like we built this but yeah, and like it sounded like, like you were gonna add yeah okay are you familiar with the song no mm. i was gonna tell kegiro we played this hidden object game where you're like a mother and your daughter is kidnapped right and then you meet an elf right and the elf is like i'll help you but can you clean my room for me right <laughs> so you clean his like room then he's like okay now can you do my laundry for me and yeah. they were like what the fuck you're trying to save this girl's life and it Wow. What are we doing? We're going to every location and interacting with every interaction point. What's our goal right now? We're finding a um for like a ring? Yeah, we we have to find five rings. We found two, two of them. Okay. Do I have some the emerald that? one and the Why do I want the umbrella? Emerald. Yeah. And like it gave me a clue something about line. Lion King, right? Oh, right. What is this? A rake? A mop? Oh no, the car. Oh, not what I thought would happen. Use the umbrella, yeah. 
I've seen Jackie Chan movies. I know how to use an umbrella to pull down one of these ladders. Excellent. And then punch a guy through the rungs. For some reason, I thought this is. T- I thought you were saying lungs, but like. <laughs> Like Jackie Chan style, like a racist like that's bastard. A, that's how my brain did. Apparently, I need to do some work. <laughs> it's like, why would you punch him through the lungs? <laughs> Apparently, my subconscious thinks you're racist. I really use the mop to hold the window open. That's what the mop was for. That's kind of clever. I like it when they do clever things like that. I think these are roses. Handle. That's like a lamp post. Handle seems sort of vague. Is that a handle? Yeah. For what? Okay. Like what? That was a handle for. And, you know, things you gotta handle. Yeah. Loudspeaker. Is this a yoga tube thing? Like a rolling thing that you put it on the floor and you roll your back on it? Wow, like a foam roller? Yeah. Mm. I called it a yoga tube. (laughs) You did call it a yoga tube. That's true. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Candle holder. Like a candelabra thing back there. Standing lamp. Not so standing. You should have made it blue. And you should have tilted up so it's standing. And then you can pick it up. <laughs> then you can pick it. Yeah. Is this thing on the... No, that's just a bow tie, I guess. I thought it was a lizard yeah. sitting there, but... Obviously it's not. In case you're wondering, this is what a lizard looks like. Oh, that looks like it's going to be in the wallpaper. Pretty sure that rolled up thing is a Mac Pro. You think this is a Macintosh? Or is this a, a meme slash pun that I'm not getting? <laughs> that we're missing. Unless you mean this thing, because this look could be a, a MacBook that's like folded, but it's not really rolled up. So I feel like you're talking about this thing. But I don't know of any model of a Mac that looks like this. It's got the garbage can Mac Pro look. Is this a Mac Pro, like a cylinder? I'm going to have to look this up after the stream. I know, we're going to have to look it up and and see. We're not hip enough to get all of his references. So those are camouflaged? Is it this thing here that's camouflaged? Yeah. Post a link. Oh, perfect. Remote control. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. I'm not familiar with the song. Is this a remote control? Yeah, but you're not familiar with any songs. I mean, if it is, it's a terrible remote control. No, it was a spectacle case. Yeah, that seemed more correct. One of those cases that you want to show to people. I think it's this. Like when it's causing a scene. Yeah. Magnet? Yeah. Crinkled paper. Right in front So of... here's paper. Oh, this? Yeah. That's more crumpled than crinkled. Mm. DVD player. What we thought was the MacBook Pro. Right. Waving flag. So we got this. We need and a fan, fan or something like right that. behind it. And then you can plug it in. We did it. It's like a standing lamp. Yeah. It's like the standing lamp of waving flags. <laughs> We need the abstract concept of midnight. I think set that clock to the abstract concept. I found it. We created our own reality again. Oh, darts? Yeah, there's a dart right here. Thank you. Found it. Good job. We really hit the bullseye on that one. Look, we got the handle. Oh. But I still don't know what it's a handle for. There's a thing in the car that you have to pull. Okay. It said, how shall I pull this? Yeah. So maybe that's it? Uh-oh. They're waiting for the train. Haha, <laughs> suckers. They don't know that I wrecked the whole track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done trailing this chick. I know she was here. We're always a few steps behind her. Wait, in the last one, weren't they ahead of us? Yeah. 
Okay. I have to stay one step ahead of those tugs. Something seems to be stuck behind rubber bands. Do I have a like, knife or something like that? Oh, maybe these guys. What the <laughs> heck is that? That's probably the thing for the car. Okay. The trunk pool. Ah. Nice, but it's no Mona Lisa. Seems a few pieces are missing. Wait, am I rotating it or what? What the heck is this? I am rotating it. That's weird. It's not common for the games we do. Yeah, like it's rotating in a weird way too. It's not like I click and it rotates ninety degrees. It's like I pick it up and it rotates like correctly. A small amount. And then I let go and it sort of like drops at a ran random angle. You know, like. It's like my character instinct instinctively knows which way is the correct orientation, but then I think that drops right. it haphazardly. Yeah, I'm just playing around this because I find that's fascinating that they designed this Your way. Your viewers are not as fascinated. My viewers are always fascinated by everything I do. Turns out that's not true. Where is... what am I still missing? Oh. What about this piece? Well, it did say a few pieces <laughs> were missing. Oh, here there we go. go. One jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. You know that one. What's I that steal from? only what I can afford. And that's everything. This is the same It's from um, Aladdin. It's nice, but it's no Mona Lisa. Yeah. Oh. Somehow I did that. <laughs> Good job. This is the puzzle where you have to move the knives out of the way. Like in, in all the other hidden object games, it's mm -hmm. always knives. Yeah. But this time it's Pseudo a safe, knives. I guess. Right. Lion eyes. eyes. You can't hide. Your lion eyes. Are you just making up songs now? <laughs> Unless or? you put them in a weird safe. No, it's a. It, the that's song a real called, song. It's called Lion Eyes by you the Eagles. You can't hide lion eyes unless you put them in a weird safe. Well, I might have made up some of those words. <laughs> so instead of lion eyes, it was like something else. But the weird safe part was in the song. <laughs> it's really hard to hide anything from you. <laughs> We have to find a Native American. <laughs> well, there? they lived in New York. Yeah, was, that was my first thought, but... <laughs> it was too easy? Yeah, all right. A hard drive. How do you know what a hard drive looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Scissors. I just don't like the Eagles, man. Get out of my cap. I do not know that reference. Do you know that reference, Stephanie? Uh, no. I mean, it's obviously for a movie. Like, it kind of sounds like, I don't know, my brain was sort of going to Big Lebowski, but I don't actually know what it's from. I gotta find scissors. They're right here. Shackle. Not shackles, but one shackle. Like that belt? No? That's a buckle? This is what a shackle is. Oh, right, right. That part of a... Is it this? Here. Thing? Yeah, that thing, right. Ratchet Hanno. This? No, that's an interactable. Uh, this is like a... Sometimes that's called a ratchet. Yep, that is it. Big apple. Ha. Huh. Ball. Ball. Yep. That's a ball. How do you know what a ball looks like? It's missing the universal sign that it's a first aid. But that's not the ball. Okay. This right here? Sure. Oh, alright. Nippers. Oh, it is the Big Lebowski. See? I get points. Is this Snippers? Uh, could be. USA. 
This? Yes. The stain? Yes. Upon the planet Earth. Are you making a larger point? Yeah. But then I backed off because I realized maybe a lot of my viewers are American. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know. This is a pen. Okay. Universal Greaser. In peep. peep. Yeah. A universal gr What is a universal greaser? It's a guy who stands outside of uh, Walmart. <laughs> Is cracking me up today. Oh my goodness. Wait, what the heck is this? They're part of a wrench set, I guess. Yeah, but where where do I set. put it to make it a set? They all go together. Yeah, but I guess I have to put them down somewhere so that. Or maybe I put them in the toolbox. Like maybe they're all scattered all over the place here. And I pick them up and I put them here. It's just a triangle to get out of the way. And is there another wrench somewhere? This, oh, that's the wrench set. Okay, I see. Ah. Uh. I'm missing more. Is that it? No, that was it. Okay. <laughs> so I got wrench, shackle, line eyes, handle, magnet. I still haven't opened the glove box, but I feel like none of these items are going to help me with that, so... I guess we can look at the garage. A massive padlock. Now that always works in my dreams. Alright, if that's... Is there anything else we can do here? Besides stare at that lock? Guess not. Can we do something with the manhole at all? Because there's steam coming out of it, which is sort of odd. I totally did not even notice the manhole. Wait, what? Both shackles? I'm missing a shackle? I think I'm missing a shackle. Where will we find a second shackle? Maybe in the glove box if we can figure out how to get in there. I'm gonna cough. Could we be missing a shackle? Did we find the first shackle in here? I don't remember where we found the shackle. We found it in the hidden object. Puzzle. Of the car or of this? In the car. Okay. Why didn't we find two? Are you sure we need two? I think the, she's saying, I can't slide in the handle until I put both shackles at the right angle. So there's two holes here. I put one shackle here. I want to put the other one here. Rotate it, then you slide the handle through the two loops and lift it using the lever okay. principle. That's what I think the game's going for. But I have no idea where I'm going to find a second shackle. Can I even leave? I can't even go back. So it's somewhere in this area. So is this a shackle? Maybe we can use the padlock as a shackle once we figure out how to open it. I'm playing we need a key. Did you try using the wrench on it? We did, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay. Can't blame a gal for trying though. Alright. So we need two keys. Or it might be something else, but for now I'm leaning towards key. One for the padlock, one for the glove box. Hopefully one of those will give us a shackle. 
I don't think you can use the padlock as a shackle actually, because it looks like it's a very specific shape. Oh, okay. What is he asking about glove? Why is glove an emote? Al it's... Capone's glove box. Gorilla Love? Oh, oh, I hey, see. Roadmap. Like G Love? Or Gorilla Love? What is Gorilla Love? It's that emote, apparently. Oh, okay. Is that a global emote, or is that only only you have that tag? I think he typed glove, and it just turned that into yeah. that. Yeah, but the way Twitch That's works is um, oh. you have to like pay money to gain access to oh. certain emotes, for example. So like my cat emote, only people who subscribe to my channel, which costs $4 a month, could use that emote. Gotcha. So then, so then I'm wondering, like, did you did you pay for that emote, <laughs> Kag, or did you get that for free? <laughs> Very tactful. <laughs> is is the question I was asking? <laughs> Do we maybe not carefully check? Like, is there another interaction point in here that we might be missing besides the glove box? I'm not seeing it. We might have to consult our map to see if it tells us where the next objective is. We're here. Window? I don't remember that. Oh, that's upstairs. Okay, now I know what he's talking about. It doesn't look like this one tells us like here where your unsolved no, whatever is like. are. Where's Mike when you need him? Mike, you're from the future. Tell me Get onto the first floor and discover something. Do they mean the British first floor? I.e. the second floor? Mm -hmm. What am I discovering? Is this a shackle? Rome. What's this? I'm trying to see if there's a location explicitly labeled first floor so that we know that that's where we have to mm. go, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm supposed to discover something. Unless they don't mean the British first floor. Like, maybe they mean, like, go into the garage. The ground floor being the first floor. Hmm. They might have to use a hint, what do you think? Can we combine any of our objects? No. It seems to be, like, we get this little twinkle, yeah, there sometimes. Which seems like it's saying it must be something up here. Nope. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. We discovered something. I bet this line can't see. This is a lot of bullshit. You can't hide your lion eyes. Your smile is a, what a surprise. Disguise. Only a ring this time. The corresponding codex page must be nearby. By the way, here are some keys to a garage. Or the glove box. Glove compartment keys. God oh, damn it. How did he like okay. Store the codex <laughs> in the car? Well, I mean like this car looks like it could be towed away at any moment, right? you know. <laughs> so Maybe in this timeline they don't have towing. The Order of the Griffin, Board of Leaders, a.k.a. the Secret Five. Name, James Altergate. Function, Keeper of Flora. Hmm. Ancestors, Founding Members. Ring of Belonging, the Emerald Ring. The Emerald Ring, which has been a family relic for more than 100 years, holds the power of the Earth's flora. 
The dragons are our most formidable enemies. The clan was formed by evil merchants in the 16th century, a few years after the order had been formed. They were true masters in creating sheer chaos and plunging hard-working people into poverty, only to then capitalize on others' suffering. I must admit that they built a booming business out of pain and became stronger and stronger throughout the centuries. We followed their activities all over the world, trying to loosen their horrid grip on people's lives. Sometimes we succeeded, sometimes we failed. As they got stronger, they built a secret empire that became strong enough to declare war against us. We've lost many battles, and I feel the end is near. If my life is taken in a violent death, please use my notes to get to the place where the undesired can be turned into the desired. I'm a sworn member of the Secret Five, and I hide and protect my ring. The truth of the Sapphire Ring. Your steps might be followed by angel eyes. You might be tempted by evil lies. An azure box lies behind the bricks. Whoever wants water should do some tricks. I feel like, um, so this group, like the, the Secret Order. Yeah. Well, hang on. No, go back to it. Sure. Mike, reading about the dragon strengthens my belief that I must follow in my father's footsteps and fight against them. The rhyme at the end of the notes is surprisingly familiar to me. James taught it to me when I was a kid. There is a sketch drawn by James attached to the codex page that depicts a place I somehow know. It's down below the street level. Be your own master and stay focused. Leave no stone unturned. There should be hidden clues along the way that will take you to the place shown in the drawing and also who is James. I don't know. Is that like she's suddenly calling her father by her, his first, first name? name? Yeah, maybe. Kyra says he did not pay for that. Yeah, sure. She, gorilla love. Sure. <laughs> Emotes. Sure. What were you saying? You feel like the developers of these this No, game... not, not the developers of the game. The, the Secret Order. So, oh, so the in-game... We're, we're like... really good poets? Is that what you no, feel that, like? No, that's not where I was going with that. <laughs> really? Because they're super good poets. Link that's... and Lion King, right? <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't wait to hear their limericks. I was saying they're... They have the power of time travel. Sure. And the uh, the mafia, the dragons, don't have that power. Right. And they're losing a war against the mafia. <laughs> it seems. So it seems, seems like poor. they're pretty bad at tactical or <laughs> stra strategic. They do seem bad at strategy. I gotta get a drink. All right, I'll be here turning these valves. Excellent. <laughs> There's an obstacle course. We gotta hit an object. I was talking with someone the other day about the uh, the phrase flora and fauna, um, and the person was like, "Yeah, like that means like <laughs> plants and big plants, right?" <laughs> You're <Yeah>. thinking of <laughs> fauna and megafauna, right? <laughs> the, you did it wrong, but you did that on purpose. There's something in the back called magic seed. What makes you think I did it on purpose? Because that's how you roll. The sunglasses are, yeah, right there. Wow, that's a dead rat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me mute the mic before you do it. She was opening a can of pop. And it was going to ruin everything. Yeah, I mean, like, I've opened a can of pop on stream before, and I, when I listened to the VOD, it was, like, super loud. I didn't realize how loud it sounded on the VOD, so... You're welcome, viewers. Please subscribe, <laughs> follow, like, <laughs> retweet. Right. So wallet, we gotta find a wallet now. Oh man, paragraph. There once was a man with some rings on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have to read the rest of this. There once was a man with some rings on. He did time travel lots for some things done. He messed up his timeline and where once things were fine, now he is his own grandfather. Bing Tom. <laughs> a plus. He has really taken in the spirit of the, <laughs> the um, order of the Griffin poets. <laughs> He now embodies them. 
laughing is that is of the same level of Dang, why don't you do something useful and find a wallet quality there is nothing more useful than that poem you have found a useful long. object <laughs> to keep the rhyme that's amazing <laughs> mm. uh <laughs> what the heck is this? Is this a wallet? I can't even tell yeah, what the hell is this. Oh, that is a wallet? Okay. It looked like a typewriter slash Polaroid. <laughs> and then it's like... Sure. Tire. Sure. Like I'm, how I I'm, feel about these jokes. <laughs> there is no way to be tired of that poem. <laughs> I'm gonna cross stitch that into something. <laughs> is this a clear spray? Sure. Chain. Mm -hmm. Valve handle. Sure. Bow. Like a bow and arrow? Bow? Well, we could find out. There's no way for us to find out. I gotta find out because I can't see a bow. Oh, oh like like that. Kind of yeah, so this thing. Yeah. Detergent bottle. This magic seat? No, that's an interactable. Um, this thing. That green thing, yeah. Toilet seat. It's all the way over to the right. This? Nope. This? Nope. This? This? No. This? No, the toilet seat. This? Yes. Nod apple. This? Yeah. I'm Dead. nodding. <laughs> Nod. Dead rat. Oh my god. Yeah. We found it. Yes. Plant. What the heck is this? Fishing rod part? No, no that's, that's a, a watering can. can. Okay. And, and then magic seed. Magic okay, seed. I see. Yeah. There once was a man with some rings on. <laughs> Good thing this already has water in it. Or it doesn't. Because I didn't see any water flow out, but it worked anyway. Well, it said it was magic. Yep. That's part of a fishing rod. That's... What the heck is this thing? Uh... Is this either a fishing rod or a mug? I guess I'm leaning towards fishing rod, but I don't know what it is. It's a little hard to tell. Oh, we can make it out of bamboo. Okay. But where's the mug? Oh, here we go. We need glue. Oh, is this a, a tube of glue? Oh, sure. Like epoxy. On your house? On my what? Your house. Oh, it sounds like you said health. On your health. <laughs> Epoxy on your health. Like chicken pox. This game is crazy. It lets you get multiple useful objects from one yeah, hidden object like, game. Have they never played a hidden object game before? You're supposed to only give out one hit useful object each time. And useful is supposed to be very questionable. Yep. Oh, that was an easy puzzle. <laughs> Hockey pox. Nice. Have you um told your location to your viewers? Seattle. Okay. That's as much. Did you know that we're getting a hockey team? I did not know that. Yeah. Wait, what did I get? Ball cutters? Yep. Okay. You and can then... get, um, cut the padlock open now. I thought we... Oh, no. We went to the sewers. I thought we are in the garage. Why would I... Need to to cut open the padlock. I'm gonna end all poems that I write now. We have bing bong. Bing bong. Oh my god! Look, he couldn't take it anymore. Jesus Christ! Now she's sending us a message. Oh god! It's my favorite toy when I was a kid. The velveteen death rabbit. No, the the rope. <laughs> I remember holding this bunny in my hand, <laughs> watching the flames that took my father and four of his closest friends. What? I suspect the corpse found in the basement must have been the members of the Secret Five. What the- You know, this is my favorite memory and that's why this is my favorite toy. <laughs> Did this just take a really dark turn? The tiles look unstable, I better watch my step. Okay. How does one watch their step? A wrench? A magnet? Like, is this a puzzle? Oh. Oh, 
What? Oh, oh okay, I get... Like, Whoa. Oh, God. So not that one. Not that one either? Oh, are you, I have to fucking reset now? So I can't like run into something. Right. But I also can't. Wait, now, I, now I'm fucked, I guess. Well, I don't understand why I can't walk on this on the tile slightly to the left. You can't walk there. Like, what's wrong with this tile? Why can't I click on you this tile? You can't walk there. See, like, am I already fucked now? Because this is going to let me to here. Yes. I think you have to step on that wobbly one. Oops. This is like the most ridiculous puzzle. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's this one? No. This one. Oh, you can't step there? Nabu puzzle games. Yep. But this puzzle is, is so dumb. Yeah, like now I'm screwed. Try using the cleaner spray. All right, let's try something different. Okay, so we can only go one place from here, right? What are our options here? Let's try that one. Okay, so we can't do that. I don't understand why I can't step on this one. Wait, oh, why? Wait. Yeah, yeah. Now I can. That's like, totally different. Wow. Now I'm worried if I step here, it's gonna fuck me up because it's like, oh, you can't step on this tile. Well, we have no choice, so. Does this seem safer to you? Because here, I, I feel like you're so. gonna run yeah, to this exactly. shit, you know? I like... feel like that's good. No choice, right? Right. But like, I, I better start heading right soon because I'm gonna fucking run into that toolbox. Okay. The puzzle makes no fucking we sense. Like, it. what the fuck is that puzzle? We did it. These cogwheels might be handy. Can't take this until the other one's removed. Why don't we use our wrench? How's it going, by the way, Apidverse? Yeah, I think you haven't streamed in a while, right? I'm been missing your streams. This is 8-Bit Kid, by the way. I don't know oh, if 8-Bit he, he changed his account name. These cogwheels might be handy. Did I get it already? Or no, there's a second. Do I sell my wrench? Yeah, I do. Okay. Just stealing cogs for no reason. <laughs> They might be handy. Yeah, that's true. They might be. You never know. In the in the future, when it's an entirely cog based economy. economy. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Is there anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Chasm in the floor. Is that where we were? Oh god, I don't want to go back to the chasm. 
Don't worry, we can just do this. But there's something really shiny down there. Why do I only have half a fishing rod? I don't know. Oh, I need oh. the fishing line. Can you get it with the magnet? Wow, really? Yeah. Because it's a piece of paper? It's a magnetic piece of paper. It's a thin metal sheet. It did say it was shiny. No, I thought the shiny thing was this. I thought this is what was shiny. No. Yeah, I must be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. Generally. Yeah, we settled that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, looking for the letter Y. <laughs> I am also trying to figure out why. Um, this kind of looks like a handprint, but like with a face, like with little eyeballs. This and this are the eyes. Yeah, that's what you're saying. And then he's got like shocked hair. Okay. Maybe we're... This? Yep, you found it. Drain stopper. Is this a drain stopper? I could not help you with that. It is not. I feel like if I put this in my sink, it would stop the drain, like, from flowing through, the water from flowing down the drain, though. Like, do they mean, like, um, one of those... Sometimes on uh, there's Here like is a what they mean. stopper on a chain, yeah. And this is absolutely not what I was thinking of. <laughs> like in the old-fashioned bathtub. Okay. You know, what I'm, like like this. Yes. A tea key. This. Sure. Wine glass. Oh, on the box. Oh god. I was looking for an actual Me too. Corkscrew. Yep. Yeah. Penguin. Is this a penguin? Mm, sure. Bottle opener. Wasn't that a corkscrew? Um this is a bottle opener. Arrows. Plural. Also so on the make, box. So make sure you find more than one. There's two of them. Wrong. This? Uh, okay. Or this? One of those is like. Uh, it's Snyder. Uh, how about, yeah, that thing? No. That thing? No. That. Uh. Obviously. <laughs> tap. That was fantastic. You look for tap while I go cough. Okay. <coughs> I think it's this thing. Now find an umbrella. Oh, on the box. Oh, God damn, this fucking box. Sunglass. Not sunglasses, sunglasses. Just, just one sunglass, yeah. All right. What is one sunglass? Well, you know what sunglasses are, right? So you just just pick one. <laughs> no. It's this, obviously. This is a sunglass. Oh. What's is it? This thing in the trash? No.
Maybe this thing? Or is that the lip of the garbage ba bag? I guess that's the lip of the garbage bag. This thing? I'm basically clicking all the, the things that are too dark for me to tell what it is. Maybe these? Yeah, uh -huh. you got it. A heart. So there's a heart on this chair. It's so <laughs> half-hearted, Dad. Uh, it's like they've been overhearing our puns. Cuffle. It's probably this. I thought we moved the girl to the side, <laughs> right, but I moved but the guy no, to the... Yeah, it okay. liberated him. Pizza slicer. Chi and a rung. Hey, it's your favorite part. Elevators. Yes. You need to stand on like this trash can. <laughs> Remember when you dropped the trash can down the hole? I need to turn on the elevator engine power. How do I do that? Am I doing Tower of Hanoi? Can't place a gear on top of a smaller one. What are you? Some kind of like, moron? Have you never played Tower of Hanoi? Is it Tower of Hanoi if if um if one of the towers is sideways? Sure, it's just sideways tower of Hanoi. It's leaning tower of Hanoi. Okay, let's see. Even, right? So that means I start on the one I don't want. Now it's odd, so I start on the one I do want. Are you using cheating mnemonic devices? No, I'm just so you think of the the simple case where you move one. One is an odd number, and you just move it to a place you want. I need a sketch telling me the right order. Well, here's another sheet. There's only like three. There's six possibilities, so I feel like I don't need a sketch telling me the right order, but... Um, it very clearly said that you did. <laughs> Maybe this will tell me the right order. This graffiti could be covering up a clue. No. R5 U8? Right 5 up 8. Let's go right 5 and up 8. On this wall? Like it's a, it might be a spot yeah. on the wall. This wall here? Yeah. Like one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, oh, here, maybe this is it, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. Often when I pass by graffiti, I think to myself, This might be hiding a clue. Yes. Who it's Simon? Says who? Uh... Totem pole. This is not what I think of. Oh, it's the next room. Okay. As I say, this is this object is not what I think of when I hear the word totem pole. Oh, this thing, I guess. The sign of the graffiti order or Griffin order. <laughs> My father's legacy with me despite his death. Where he burned in the house while I watched, holding onto my bunny. My favorite toy. I push it and it doesn't work. Should I make something else first? Can't reach it from here. Should I make something else first? What the hell does that mean? We have the whole fishing pole now. We do? Oh yeah, we do. I guess we, that we picked up the... I guess the wire on the door was the fishing wire. So I guess we can go back to the um, crevasse. Ca chasm. Oh, that's the totem. Yeah. 
This is the same perspective? Yes. The same room, different perspective? Yes. I didn't realize that. Good job. Took me a while. But you got it. Plus, we made something else first. That's some, like, pretty fancy 3D animation, actually. Like, you know, like, this physics simulation on the bricks falling and bouncing off I each other? I promised me there was going to be no 4D puzzling. This is only 3D puzzling. Okay. Is this is a box of chocolates? Yeah, which one do you want to eat first? All of them. Okay. Weird PC issues here, had to reboot and reset the Ethernet cable. Well, Kag, you missed everything. <laughs> All of the good puns. Can I mark a thing as not? So we know it's none of these. Okay. And this is saying something, space something. And the only way to do that is like this, I think. Unless they allow arbitrary spaces. Oh, they do allow arbitrary spaces. Dang. Is that one space one two three? Yeah, I think it is. That's the only possibility. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good puzzle. Like yeah, most puzzles in in any of the games are like Not bullshit, basically. Yeah. yeah. But this is actually that was an actual real puzzle. Sapphire ring and codex page. Who's ready for another poem? Let me go cough. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the Order of the Griffin, Board of Leaders, aka the Secret Five. Name: Pure Isse. Function: Keeper of Water. Ancestors: Founding Members. Ring of Belonging: The Sapphire Ring. The Sapphire Ring, which has been with my family ever since I can remember, holds the power of water. I fear that moving and hiding all of the rings within a small area so that we can meet to discuss resuming our time travel activities might have been a grave mistake. I'm afraid, however, that time travel is inevitable since the strength of the dragons is growing beyond our control. The fact that all of the members of the board of leaders will meet together in the same room makes us vulnerable, I know. But there are times when one needs to put everything at risk. Our will to survive in any case and our enthusiasm for a better world forces us to break even the strictest rules of our order. Rules are there for a reason. Gordon, being the mayor of Sunward City, has been placed in charge of preparing for the meeting with the greatest of care. I'll meet my old friend James, a talented politician from London. I'll meet Jenny Folston from Johannesburg, who abandoned her mining interests a few years ago when she moved to Sunward City. And Linus, the bravest of all of us who escaped from Hungary during the communist area, era, will also attend. I'm a sworn member of the Secret Five, and I hide and protect my ring. Are you ready? I'm ready. The truth of the ruby ring. Let's hear it. The landlord lives with an unknown treasure. A, the lack of knowledge relieves the pressure. Zodiac signs light up your day. Red beams help along your way. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. Mike, the page I found was written by one of my father's friends who also died in that deadly fire at my parents' house. I can now see the obvious truth. The entire Secret Five were murdered with the fire that killed my father. I believe Pierre's rhyme refers to a lock mechanism I know from my childhood. I saw that Falston's apartment. I love the view from the terrace when I was playing there. The apartment is on the top floor. I wish I could argue with your conclusion about your father, Sarah, but the sad truth. But, but it, it is, is a sad truth. If you get to the apartment, you'll be only one step away from the possibility of altering our hopeless present for the first time in history. Where did we need the metal sheet? 
Did I do this already? Yeah, I did. Okay. No, wait, I didn't. Right, because we don't know. Right, metal yet. sheet. I'll have to set the handles. What the hell is she talking about? Set the handles? I think those things you just set. Like, you have to set these somehow to look like this diagram. I thought that's what I did. That's not what the diagram is telling me to do? I feel like that's not what the diagram is telling you to do. I think you might be able to put them in here. Somehow, like... Are these numbers here? I can't re re read them. That looks like numbers. I mean, the top one looks like a four, but then I can't. Oh, I thought it was one, two, three. But I'm not sure. Can you turn them when you get them to the middle? Like, is there any other? Like. Yeah, I know what turning means, but like, <laughs> I I can only left click. I I'm not <laughs> able to do it, and you're not using your words, so. So UX signs will lead you to riches, assuming you don't run into s s snitches. <laughs> the red beans will lead down a tunnel that feeds. Fiddle switch to get you there, ping pong. What? This is just as good as the poems that we are getting. Possibly like, better. I, I corrected your second line, but now I think maybe you intended for the second line to not rhyme. I think <laughs> either way is really good. Twitch chat, I'm sitting far from my monitor, so I can't see too well. Are these numbers? What, what, what's going on here? What is it telling me to do? Yeah, I think it's like handle one, handle two, handle three. So one, right? Yeah. Two is this one? Yeah. Three. I don't know how you play when you sit in this chair, Steffi. We're, Steffi and I were swapping the seats that we normally sit on. And he normally gives me this shitty chair. That yeah, I this chair is like so night. far from the screen, I can barely see anything. Right. I, and, I don't know how you play. Like, I can't see. And he's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, like no, it's obvious. Like just look at the screen. A thousand man. feet from the screen. Try that. It wasn't that. Do these have numbers on them? Are these numbers? If they are, I, I don't think so. If they are, I don't think so. I, I can't read them as numbers. Don't claim it was a typo. I think they were that you were just making the poem better. Well, I've heard from someone that there's only six possibilities. So. I didn't realize you could do halfways. So there's oh. like, let's see one. And also, like, there's it's saying something about ordering, or it did earlier. Now it's not talking about the order. So that's weird. But if so, if order doesn't matter, then it's um, three times three times three, which is 27 possibilities. Keep passing my phone. I'm gonna watch my own stream on my phone so I can get a better review of what the <laughs> heck is going on in the screen. Opening Pavu control causes my speaker to buzz. What a fun glitch to discover. I don't know what Pavu control is. I guess it's some software on your computer. All right. Twitch app. Oh god.
Pulse Audio Volume Control. Slash. Nebu. Crewkins. Stream is intended for a mature audience, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my phone is actually playing the audio now. How do I meet? Does that make us in stereo? Does yeah, these sense? are numbers. There's numbers on here. Yeah, one, two, three, right? Yeah. Okay. Has that cleared it all up for you? Yeah, and it's telling... So there's markings on here that's saying like put this in the middle. That seems put this like... on the on the left. And put this at the bottom, which is what we did actually. Then here it says three M or M three tilde. There we go. Easy. When you can see the screen, it's easy. Really? <laughs> no, I just click randomly and then it somehow <laughs> solved itself. Believe me, she'll be here soon if she's following the breadcrumbs. All we have to do is set a trap for her at the entrance door. It's just this. Am I in the trap? How do I trigger the trap? Another closed door to rats. My arch nemesis. Closed doors. Broom. Here's a broom. Yep. Chain. Brick hammer. Okay. There's a special hammer for bricks? Or it's a hammer made out of bricks? I bet it's a hammer for bricks. What does a brick hammer look like? Is this a brick hammer? Yes. No. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> this so this doesn't look like one. a hammer, but... I don't think it's a hammer. Maybe guess... we should allow our viewers to learn what a brick hammer looks like. Yeah. Because I know what a brick hammer looks like. Right. This is, just for any viewers who don't know, this is what this, the brick hammer yeah, looks like. In case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know... We can. Now that we're all on the same page, that now that you guys have caught up to right. my level, we might be able to begin looking for it. Yeah. In the near future. I just I've I've already found it, but I want to give our <laughs> viewers a chance to to look for it. That is really too. nice. Of you. <laughs> to do. Here it's it's obviously this. I'm, oh. I'm tired of waiting for the viewers, so here we go. <laughs> Respirator here? Yeah. Metal saw. Metal saw? That was my solid snake impression. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. This thing? Yeah. Key. That's a key? Oh yeah, that is a key. Shop light. If you're sitting it closer to the... Um, why are you going to shop light? You have to do the brick trowel oh, first. Oh, I thought it was blue for some reason. Sorry. Okay, shop light. Yeah, I liked your shop light. That was fine. Paint roller. Power. Your viewers can't see that I'm pointing to everything on the screen. Yeah, so you're finding nothing. <laughs> so Stephanie is pointing to the screen, and then after she points, I move the mouse cursor there, and then I click. <laughs> we're we're doing fifty fifty of, of the work here. Teamwork. Power mixer rod. In case you're wondering. I think it's this fancy thing, but that's really cool. I want one of those. I would use it as like a magic wand. <laughs> it's probably, I'm imagining it's hard and heavy. And just like my favorite types of magic well, wands. Well, this, this is not what I think. I thought what they were talking about those foam tubes that you use in the swimming pool. But they're talking about some square-ish thing. This? 
Oh, nope, that's intractable. Is this? it this thing? Yes. That was it. Dustpan. That thing you had might be a dustpan. No? Nope. Oh. Plumb line. I don't know what that is. I guess it's like a rope or a chain or something. It must be this thing here. Okay. Wow. Sealant gun. This is the sealant, and that's the gun, so. Half tiles. So here's a tile. I have like a hammer or something to make it a half tile. Or a saw. That's a tile cutter. I've never seen a tile cutter before. What do we get? Oh, key. She never said the door is locked. She just said there's a door in the way. Really? It said there's a door in the way? I forget her exact word, but she didn't say lock. She says like a door or something like that. Mm. Mike, I used drops on my pursuer and learned that they are setting a trap for me at the apartment entrance. Fortunately, I can still enter from the roof. Because I feel like you said locked doors, my nemesis. Yeah. Be extra careful since they seem to be hot on your trail. Well, just have to watch the VOD afterwards to see yeah, who we'll was watch. right and who was yeah. wrong. We'll see. We'll see who we'll was right and who, who was wrong. We'll who see. Was. Yeah. We'll watch <laughs> two hours of our own commentary just to find out. Wow, that's a weird key. Do I even have something that would fit this? Let's come back when I have a key that I know what the lock should look like before I try to... Ladder's no good to me without rungs. Hey, I have a rung. I have two. <laughs> Are you always trying to upstage <laughs> me? I was doing the... Um... Oh, we need two rungs. We do we need... <laughs> I was trying to do a follow-up on a Jackie Chan joke. Uh... Wait, I just... Oh, there's a key here. I was about to say, I just moved the glass for no reason. Okay, so what does, what does it look like? Is it just a square, or what is this? Yeah, maybe. Let's try making You're a square. I gotta reopen my stream again. Oh, it was this shape. No, wait, it's not this. Now oh, I can see. Now we can see it. Oh, that's weird. Uh. Oh, you mean because you can't see? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's this on the left, right? And then, yeah, there we go. No, it's not this. Oh, I guess you. Well, I don't. I mean, that doesn't look anything like it to me. Maybe this one. There yeah. we go. What the heck is that? A lock of some sort. An Aquarius sign. That's where I keep my Aquarius signs. Is that it? I guess that's it. You should come up with a better hiding place. That's where everybody Nobody look. looks there for Aquarius signs. That's why it's such. Well, I'm totally lost now. Did we just? I don't know where I am. Pass a sign that. How do I go back? What? Yeah, I was trying to look at this, but then oh, let's like use the find right. a telescope or something. Fine. Airbrush. What does an airbrush look like? Not what I expected it to look like. I was thinking it's this thing. But it it's... might be. Nope, that was the telescope mounting. Oh. I'm not entirely this sure thing that here? that helps. Okay. Nope, that was the fire extinguisher. And apparently the part that that was the brush was actually just like the roof. Mm. Bumps. That's because you can't see anything because you're eight miles away. Yeah. You should see what it's like sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> How I this will thing never here? know. How about this thing? Rung. Maybe this one? Nope. nope that was the strip light. <laughs> Maybe this one? Yeah. Okay. Telescope stand. Maybe this thing? Sure. Nope. That was the protractor. Is this a telescope stand? Sure. Nope, it's nothing. This thing? Sure. Nope, that was 
what was that? I don't even know what it was. Satellite antenna. Okay. This thing? Sure. Nope, that was the telescope itself. Okay, what does the telescope stand look like? It looks like everything I clicked on. God damn it. It's not that thing? It was that it's thing. It's that thing. I clicked on that though. Is this a chair? I don't know, just look for something really uncomfortable and far away from the screen. A, a gr grill? This okay. thing? Okay, this? sure. Yeah, either one is. A tube. Like sure. Everything on the screen yeah, is a tube. It's a lot of options, tube wise. They mean one of these. Oh. So none of the things that I was thinking. Here. Yeah. Mobile phone. Is this a mobile phone? No. This is. Eggs. Balloon. So here's the inflator. I hope that's our useful item. Whatever. Possibly on this. Oh, here. You can only do it from this angle. Why am I doing this? You need a good view. We're trying to find her apartment, I think. We're so trying we to can... spy on our neighbors. We're looking for the bing bong ring. <laughs> the bing bong ring? Mm -hmm. What do these numbers mean? One, two, two, four. We're going to need them for something. They were trying to watch like someone getting changed or something. We're trying to watch somebody else's Netflix. <laughs> or like their Twitch stream, but we don't yeah. want to pay for it. Secret subscriber. Wait, did that not work? Mm. Oh, it's not that, it's this one. Okay, that one yeah. needs the other rung. <laughs> it needs yet another one. Bottom ones. So, oh, I was going to say, why are those ones so close together? But It's because I placed them in such a way that I would need... Yeah, the better one. Excellent. Um, I feel like, is there anything left in here? I'm just trying to take inventory of all the locations. No, I guess, so this is a dead end now, so we probably don't need to go here anymore. What's this? A rung? It's another rung. Try what was it? One, two, two, four. It goes one, three, two. It's like what? Who designed this shit? It's four. This one? Is this four? One, one two. Now wait, try this one, two, handle, three, this four. Case. Yeah, that is four. Okay. There's no electricity. Wasted all that time. Get this generator running. It's a handle. Oh, gas would help though. Where do I? Oh, here. Yeah, I'm holding the funnel. She's saying it's much easier to pour gasoline with a funnel. Yeah, maybe it wants you to put it in the gas can. Nope. No. Just... Just didn't like it the first time. Check in that cabinet. Hmm. Oh god, it uh, undid it. Oh, this isn't one, this is four. That's why I was just like, why is it four, three, two? Like, what that the is heck? weird. One, two, two, four, right? I feel like. There we go. I need like a bigger monitor or something like that. Better glasses? Maybe. Two chairs that fit at this desk? That would be ridiculous. <laughs> An Aquarius sign? <laughs> that would be useful. 
I think I left mine on the roof. Mm. Maybe on that bucket? It's not a very big drop cloth. Feather. A little flower. That's a washer. Like a mop? <laughs> like this? Yeah. Nope, that was a mop. Oh. How about this? Squeegee, yeah. Sunglasses. Plural this Plural. time. So find two. Here. I only see one. Well, I'll tell you when I find the other one. Okay. The drink canister. This? Okay. Nope, that was a spray can. Okay. Here's a drink canister. Thermos, we call those. Watering, Watering can. can. Pisces. Does not look like Pisces from my angle. What the hell is that? Carabiner? What is that? It's a... Um... Uh, one of those hooks that people use in like rope climbing. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. I thought it was a gun, mm. like a rifle from World War II. That might mean this claw thing. Nope, that's a rake. Oh. And then moral pleasure seeker. Mm hmm. Reformed make rakes make the best husbands. <laughs> Might be in this plant. A fan. I think this is. What just happened? I think you plugged it in, maybe? Don't touch it though. But I found it. Okay, now I think that's the vacuum cleaner then. Vacuum head is missing. Oh, I wasn't seeing it. I was like, how the hell is that the vacuum cleaner? And, well, we found a useful object, Pisces. Not the vacuum? Why am I here? To find another useful object. Cancer. I feel like they make the first one like really hard to find and the next ones we're gonna be like tripping over. Well, I mean, how many more can it be? Um, there's another eight. What the heck is this? Switch lever. So a slug? Aries. Oh, it's the horn of the ram. I was waiting for you open it and you click and it's like, you know, the remaining eight are just here. Right, <laughs> like, right. I know, I was too. It's like, fuck it. Yeah. We're running out of time. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's still game. playing this. Oh, they're oh, all here. Perfect. Do I have to actually know the freaking order? I do have to know the freaking order. I mean, sort of. Yeah, I mean, I think if I could see the screen better... I mean, you could also do it by color. I was about to say, we can do it by color if I could see the screen better. Oh. But it's like, it was just a, br a brown blur for me down here. Mm. Oh. I mean, it feels like I just rotate until it says go. You could. I think it's probably... The sum of the yeah. colors. Yeah but it's hard to tell. <gasps> Poem time. Catch that girl. That's... I don't think that's how that gun would work. 
That looks like a, a sawed-off double barrel shotgun. And traveling with fear, the assassin opened fire on me, but the bulletproof balcony door just saved my life. I'm sorry I can't be there to protect you. Take a deep breath and gather yourself together. You're only a few steps away from reactivating the time machine. Thanks, Mike. You always know exactly what to say. <laughs> the Griffin Order Board of Leaders, a.k.a. the Secret Five, named Jenny Fulston, Function, Keeper of Fire, Ancestors, Founding Members, Ring of Belonging, the Ruby Ring. The Ruby Ring, which has been shining in my family's treasure since the 16th century, holds the power of fire. My recurring dream predicts that I have little time left in this cruel world. I don't really mind, since everything must come to an end one day. Telling my part of the story might lead you to the point where evil fails and every false step taken gets another chance to be taken right. I'm convinced you have already figured out that the following that following the hints and discovering all the pages of this codex will lead you to find something really important. If you follow the path, you'll come to the time machine. The machine is carefully hidden so that only the worthy will find it. Possessing all of the rings will enable you to travel in time without limitation. Every single ring stone was formed by the elements for millions of years, and all of them have a unique and irreproducible structure. Without the stone's structure, the necessary energy level can't be reached, so the machine is limited to travel of only 25 years back in time. Remember, changing the past is only acceptable if our order is devastated and you are sure a turning point in our destiny is clearly identifiable in the past. That's a weird sentence. The more carrots, the more it is worth. The most wanted treasure on earth. Finding it, you need the right guess. Choose wisely while playing chess. <laughs> Sounds like Kagero Sama stirred a thread for Paul Solio volume control oh not for these amazing poems <laughs> maybe someone can help with those too <laughs> i would like it if somebody helped with that what are we doing gator assassin is guarding this door he's wearing a sunglass yeah just the one mm -hmm. i'll look for some hidden objects while i wait compass like the north kind or the circle kind A circle kind. A circle kind. I think it's around that pen. A book. A pin. Like what kind of? Like a thumbtack. Oh. Did we just get like danger music? Yep. Oh, there it is, yeah. UV bulb. I think that's this thing. Staple remover. Calculator. Mm -hmm. Eraser. Mm -hmm. nope. nope. Yeah. Impression stamp. Like the kind you wanted me to get that just said ADHD? <laughs> yeah. Remember when you, you were young? You shone like the sun, shine on you, crazy diamond. Now there's a look in your eye, it's plural, <laughs> like black holes in the sky, shine on you, crazy diamond. That's a real song. Okay. Like that it. wasn't a limerick? No. It's a pretty good limerick, but... Remember when you were young, you shone like the sun, shine on you, crazy diamond. That was a three-hole punch? Yep. That was way too not tall enough. It looked like a one-hole punch. Just like that anime. Caught One Punch Man or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably help if you remembered what it was called. I think it's called One Punch Man. Because I, I was hesitant because I think the guy's called Saitama or something like that. I thought it was like Fist or something. No? I don't know. Yeah. Hard to know. And so I was worried maybe the name of the anime was Saitama. Mm. But anyway. This maybe? Okay. Nope. It says maple sugar on it. That's my favorite type of vitamin. Maybe. Um, Those are bullets. These? Binder clip. This? Yeah. Chain of paper clips. Let's put the paper clips in a chain. 
chain of clips. Sharpened pencil. Do we have an unsharpened pencil somewhere? There it is, okay. And then. Take it out. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, we wanted the UV bulb. This is a great collection of books. It sure is. Okay, moving on then. <laughs> If only I had coordinates. The clock hands are missing. Uh oh. I have choose to choose the right piece. When playing chess. As soon as finish my game, I should finish it by any clue. Oh, probably the, the um. Yeah. Because you know what? You constantly think when you come across a game of chess. I, don't, I should I don't finish know. this. This is an outline for a door? I don't feel like this is an outline for a door. But I bet a lion head would fit here. Yeah, I guess technically <laughs> a lion head might fit there. This is the part of the game where they just give up on the writing. <laughs> They're just like, just wander around and you'll randomly stumble across things. Oops. Did I fuck it up? I think I did. Oh there. no, this is That's okay. Good. That's where I keep my clock hands. Mm-hmm. Martini glass. You look for a martini glass while I go cough. <coughs> Maybe this thing here. Oh, sure. Cup. Mm -hmm. Like this thing, maybe. I don't know what this is actually. I don't either. It's not a bracelet, I can tell you that. Now you tell me. I was just testing you. This thing? Nope. What does a bracelet look like? It looks like this. Then I think you did have the right thing. Just select the gold part. This is the goblet. Sleeping mask. Wow, it's in the reflection. Mm hmm. Is this a piece? No, this is a shadow, I guess. There's like that book. Is that? It has many pieces of paper in them. This here. Okay. Tweezers. Picture. I bet it means this picture. Heart. This music is actually kind of spooky. It is a little bit. I mean, I guess there is an assassin outside the door. Actually, looking at the monitors and OBS, it's, the music is probably way too quiet for any of the viewers to actually hear. Well, it's spooky. Yeah. Like, picture spooky music and then listen to that picture. 
listen with your mind's ears. <laughs> yeah. Can you show us what a heart looks like? <laughs> oh, not what I expected. <laughs> Sometimes. It's this, it's right here. Yeah, it must, that's weird. Perfume? Yeah. Nope. One of those bottles. This one might be perfume. No. Show us which bottle is the perfume. It is. It's the one with the squeezy thing. This doesn't have the squeezy thing. Oh, it does have the squeezy thing, but it's hidden. Cool. <laughs> trophy. It's a pretty menacing looking trophy, actually. Very sh lot of sharp edges. Nope. Oh, I just noticed that this is a high heel. That's really hard to see. I'm She's pointing at this yeah, thing. To the screen, that's not helpful. I can't believe it's not this. Dang. Oh, every time I, 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 it's a different orientation every time I point at it. Oh, weird. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into this game on like features that no one's ever going to notice, I feel like. I mean, that part sort of looks... Which said, if you're seeing a trophy, let us know. Is it possible that it's this? No. LP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the record scratch sound effect. You were gonna point at something? This? Wow, I'm so sure I clicked on that. And then, okay. Interest. This? Maybe the, this part? Oh no, this one's black. No. Um. It's like a splayed out dress. It, was, it doesn't look crumpled according to the... Yeah, like, Maybe on the bed? Um, in the mirror? I feel like it would have been helpful to see all of the scene for a couple of those. Cool painting. Oh, where her hair like turns into... Seaweed kind of reminds me of uh, Wide Sargasso Sea. 
I don't know what that is. It's a book by um, uh, Jean Reese, I think her last name is. Um, that's a retelling of Jane Eyre, but from the mad woman in the attic's perspective. Oh yeah, that mad woman. Yeah. E four F six? No, no, six. Oh, that was an eight? Yeah. You gotta do E four again first. This one? Mm-hmm. H seven? Yeah. But then we don't know what G is. It would have to be this guy if it's a knight, right? Okay. <laughs> Rip me. Oh, I thought that was like a command. I get what you're saying. Couldn't you go yeah. to, yeah, there? Yeah, I was being an idiot. For some reason, I was saying the starting point, mm. but they want the ending point because we're doing it in order. Whoa. Dear Diary, today I leave for Mozambique where I, where I will help villagers with microfinancing projects. This is really random. I'm doing this in memory of my mother. If she hadn't died in that tragic fire so long ago, she'd still be helping those less fortunate. My apartment will sit empty while I'm gone. I couldn't get anyone to sublet because of the loud noises coming from behind the pool wall. I'll have to look for another place when I get back. Wish me luck, Mom. Today is the first day. This is the first day of the rest of my life. Tina Fulston. That was Tina really Fulston must weird. be Jenny Fulston's daughter. Jenny died in the fire that killed my dad. There's no knight on d6. One more up. I should copy the game in the picture. If only I could fucking see. Did I do it? Am I done? Oh, there's a piece here? No. <laughs> Do you see a difference between... So this looks right. Is this not right? There's nothing for me to click on anymore. It looks right to me. I think, yeah, I think you just do that and... And then Alakazam. Get the thing in the pool. Oh, clock hands. We can do the clock Let's hand. Do that part. No. Just... Yeah. What the heck is this? Maybe it will tell us. Time cassette? Obviously. Is that guy still there? Probably. Use the tweezers to pick up the pieces that don't belong. What's that handle thingy we have? A switch lever. Oh. So we find a, a switch slot. We can stick that in. There's one. It would be like, what I'm expecting is two vertical slots. Oh, maybe this thing. No. I guess you need the line head for that. Come 
Can we look at that um thing? The stained glass up there? No. There's a fucking piece right here. God damn it. Diamond ring and a codex page. The Griffin Order, Board of Leaders, a.k.a. the Secret Five, name Linus Tarot, Function Keeper of Air, Ancestors, Founding Members, Ring of Belonging, the Diamond Ring. The Diamond Ring, which has been with our family for more than a hundred years, holds the power of air. The spirits of my ancestors are sending me signs every day. They are telling me that I'll be there with them soon. I do not wish to die as much as I'd love to see my loved ones again. Writing down what I know will hopefully complete the story for you. Now you know who you are, who our worst enemy is, what our most valuable inventions are, why we hid the pages in the rings, and why the secret five needed to meet despite the sinister signs. If you finally get in a situation where you need to reactivate the time machine, there is one thing you must know. Our former leaders banned time travel because of a terrible mistake. On the final research trip through time, the travelers almost changed the flow of history dramatically when they mistakenly put themselves in the middle of the events that were flowing around them. This ban was a logical decision for the leaders at the zenith of their power, but I'm convinced by the time you are reading these notes, this power will have dissolved. There are times when one must take a risk and throw rules aside. Your blood is griffin blood, thus never hesitate to listen to what your heart whispers. The serpent tells a story advanced in years. Open your eyes and leave behind your fears. A certain sequence opens the secret door. Stones may be moving as they reveal some more. This kind of sucks because I feel like we didn't get any new items or information about what to do. So I'm still in a big like now what situation. A fucking thing right here, god damn it. Mike, I found a huge structure down in the basement. It looks like a power source. You're just as strong in the past as I know you'd be in the future, Auntie. The structure you described is called the main generator. You must get it running again. Too bad I couldn't have given you a hint earlier. Is that the pool opening mm, thing? I like the know. for the drain oh, pipe. For the drain. I feel like I'll come back to this later. Because <laughs> that looks like a pain to this. switch lever is gone. Luckily we have a switch lever. There's something I haven't done. I need to get the pool water to flow into the cooling system. That's not how I thought you would use it. But that's how you use it. It won't work without power. For some reason I'm thinking of Back in Future 2 when uh, Marty McFly tries to use the hoverboard on the water and the guy's like, it won't work without power. Mm. So how do I get power? You gotta do that stupid puzzle. This thing? Yeah. I 
I'm not sure I get how to do this actually. Like, do I just connect this to this or what? I yeah, think that's so. what I'm trying to. And then I don't care about all the ex extra. I feel like that's plausible. This one. To what? Oh, like that? Yeah. You were right. Mm -hmm. You don't care about all the other ones. Yeah. I was right about a lot of things with that puzzle. I need some sort of compound, too. Obviously. Compound. Oh, maybe it works now because I have power? Does that count as having power? Nope. I need some sort of compound. What the hell? Oops. That was compound. Oh, there's something somewhere here. I thought I saw something here. Okay, I think I get it now. Is that two? Mm -hmm. That's two? Yeah, okay, yeah. so there we go. Is that like a wow, fox and chicken puzzle? How much is this? Five? My target is what, one, two, three, four? Yeah. One. Mm -hmm. Going crazy. Let's go put the lion lion head in. Mike, the power source is up and running perfectly. What am I supposed to do next? All you need is the time cassette, the rings, and a control panel to activate the time machine. If everything is set up properly, you will be able to travel in time without limitation. Oops. <laughs> Good thing I have a time machine. What is that, a flute? This time ocarina of time, maybe? Yeah. What the hell? You solved the puzzle. Good job. I think there's a connection between the note on the door and my father's past. I should play the melody he taught me. That's how. I don't know if you guys can hear, work. hear it on the stream because, again, I think the game's pretty quiet. But that was a pretty bad <laughs> clarinet playing. Also, like she just blew through it, and like the notes. No, I, no, I think I think it's she's supposed to be playing it, but they didn't want to put oh, their hands. Oh, they didn't want to put her hands. Yeah. Okay. 
The signs are on the slots just like on the ring. You know. No, I don't know. Maybe try moving these. Oh, god damn. I was overthinking Obviously, it. the signs are on the slots, just like on the rings. Yeah, so I say, like, okay, so I consult this, and then I move them around based on what this is. But no, it just means pick the, that shit up. <laughs> Half of the work in these puzzles is cleaning up. Now you have to move them. <laughs> How? Like, what order? Oh, so this is a green. Yeah, exactly. Where's white go, then? Or is this where white goes? I think that's where white goes. Or maybe this is white? I thought that it's would hard be black. To tell. It's hard to tell, honestly. Yes? No? Yes? Okay, yes. Now to put my um, gadgety gadget time VCR <laughs> cassette. <laughs> Don't forget to rewind when you're done. Does anyone even, like, do any of my viewers even know what a VCR is? They don't know what a VCR is. <laughs> also, this one is probably way overdue. I have a VCR on my desk. Chinese animal direction. Sorry, Kag, I was I miss you your chat stuff. He just said that. Oh man, can you guys hear the epic music on stream? It is pretty epic. Steph is dancing for for those of you who can't see. She is rocking out to the epic music. Where's your no name cat when you need him? Because he knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> he comes and you're gonna pick him up and make him he dance. He loves to dance for me. Well, I don't know when we are, but here we are. There's a key right there. Nothing on this screen is interactable. Okay, cool. Unbelievable. This is the day my father died. I made it just in time so I can change this event entirely. Why did he lock oh, me in a woodshed? I locked the door and broke the key off in the lock. I hope I still have tweezers in this time zone. He's broken any replacement. Maybe some paint. Whatever this is. A washer? A grinding wheel? One of six? I don't know why I need six grinding wheels. Because you're going to use them to make a key? Six of them? Oh, at different heights yeah, or something like that? Exactly. Okay, I see. You owned a lock picking set. How do you not know this part? The lock picking set never told me how to make a key. Mm. Do we find one? Oh, there it is. Oh god, this is another one of those things where I need to be able to see my fucking screen. Is it this first one this? Second one like a triangle, so I guess this guy. Next is flat. Next is this guy. Or do I have two flats? No, I feel like I fucked up somewhere. Because I feel like I need need this one. How do I go back? Okay. First one is, is a square, right? I can't really see. It looks pretty square. And yeah. this is a, a triangle like this, right? Like a pokey in triangle. But I... Like, this is yeah. one slot, then here's the second slot. Yeah. Then this is just flat. It's pretty flat. And this is what? This is the V? So this guy, I guess. Yeah. Then this guy is trying to go this way. Right. And then trying to go that way. Because it's inverted.
What the heck is that? Uh, the nozzle to a hose? Hose connector, hose adapter, you're right. Okay, don't fuck it up this time. That man locked the basement door. That's where the fire started. He must have said it. I can't believe it. I've just seen my father's murderer, the arsonist. Now I know where to direct my hatred, but I have the best revenge imaginable. I'll undo what this awful man has done. Now we can confirm what we've long suspected. Your father and the rest of the Secret Five were murdered. If you prevent their demise, our history will change completely. The problem, though, is the time. Are oh, you saying you want to end it here? Um, I was hoping that once we opened the time portal, we'd be all done, but I have a feeling that... All right, let's end it here. <laughs> Um, where's my menu? Here we go. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Cliffhanger ending. <laughs> Will she save her father, or is this one of those games where you have a sad ending because you don't save the father? And he burns to death. Yeah, exactly. While you hold your favorite bunny. I guess we'll find out next time. <laughs> On the Secret Order. Meanwhile, let me find someone to raid on Twitch here. So I'm going to open up my Twitch channel. We're going to raid my good friend Nick Capricorn. He's a speedrunner. Don't know what he's playing right now. Blaster Master. Classic game. It's a 2D platformer. Oops. That's not where I want to send the raid command. Where's my Twitch dashboard? Here we go. Raid. Capricorn, hopefully I spelled his name correctly. Yep. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Secret Order will probably almost certainly finish it next time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later.